intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic. intergalactic. You ready for some galaxy brain plays, Luigi? Ooh, galaxy brain plays. We gotta <laughs> galaxy. I gotta think about how to do some galaxy brain plays. Yeah. Put on and tighten the wrist strap. You don't want to hit something accidentally, Jack. <laughs> what, like, like, the, like a button to blow up the world. That would suck. Yeah, was, they should be, was cool. They should make they should make wrist straps for GameCube controllers. For like you know, uh, Smash Brothers. All right, how long is this going to take? Let's it's been find good. out. It's been pretty good recently, so. Communications with the Wii Remote have been interrupted. It's uh, it's disconnected now. Uh, well, usually we have to go in controllers and refresh. There it goes. There we go. Uh oh. Back didn't go on right. It's fine. I can fix it. Give me a moment. There we go. Right. Back to our first ever playthrough of Galaxy Two. It going pretty well, actually. We've been we've been having a solid pace of one world per stream. Yeah. While also keeping up with new shit that opens up. What does Pink Toad have for us? A letter from from Mama Rosa. Mama Rosa. Mario, you got a letter from Princess Peach. I am very far away right now, but I'm okay. Okay. I, uh, I recently tried, just for something to do on my 3DS, I, th I tried starting uh, Mario 64 DS again. Yeah? How'd that go? It's hard to go back to. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I can play it again, unmodded. It's like the... Okay, there are three major issues with it that make it hard to play. A, the lack of analog is really noticeable, just having the D-pad. Oh, yeah. Because the DS didn't have analog. Yeah, that's right. We want to put all ours in. Until we find uh, oh, stick. yeah, that's right. I can't use the stick. I have to... Uh, the fact that you start with Yoshi kind of sucks. That's the oh, least yeah. egregious of the three. Yeah, the third one? That there's a run button. Oh, yeah, that's right. You, you So you move at, like, molasses speed unless you're always holding the run button, like 2D Mario games. Does that game work on the on the 3DS? Uh, I feel yeah. like that would be better. No, it, it's still, game. even then, using the 3DS stick. Oh, we should take care of that. Whatever that comment oh, is. Oh, yeah. Even using the 3DS stick, it's still, you can tell that it is only four direction input. It is not smooth at all. Bold and bold gals. All right. It is, very, it is very hard to play. I know there are mods that uh, supposedly emulate, like, true analog. So maybe if I was emulating it, I could try that, but I don't think I'll ever play it on the DS again. <laughs> yeah, I think... Which, which is a shame, because it had some good ideas. It had more stars. It's cool to be able to play as more characters. It was a good game. I liked it. It just... It, the controls are dated as fuck, though. What's this? It's, that seems rock? to be a thing with a lot of, uh... Oh, timed... Get them all. Get all the things. Oh, my oh is this a kill them all thing? Seems like it. How do I... Wait, how do I get them? You gotta spin their backsides? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, no, you got rock mode. That seems Holy to be a crabs. thing with, with a lot of uh, Nintendo remakes, is a lot of good ideas bogged down by an equal amount of bad ideas. Yeah. Between I mean, that, Majora's Mask... But there's something you, there's something you can say about Nintendo, is that they always like to experiment. Yeah. Which, you know... I like that they're willing to make improvements when they do do remakes. I just wish they had a better idea of what improvements was in some cases. Yeah. They... Let's restrict the ability to use ice arrows anywhere. But why, though? That was a Let's fun... make the bosses linear as fuck. People don't want to sword fight Odalwa. I like to be able to... Ah, shit! I think I fucked it. Almost. I think you're one away. Yeah. It's okay. There's a, there's one ups just just chilling on there. So. Wind Waker HD, as far as I know, didn't have anything to. It didn't change a whole lot. It added the fast sail. Apparently, it also added like a shit ton of blue. Like the game can be hard to look at. Yeah. I I don't like it when things do. I at least make it scalable. Like, I understand you want to make it, like, realistic, but, or... 
I have no idea if there were any game gameplay changes to uh, Twilight Princess HD. Unpo unfortunately, both of those ports had the misfortune of being on the Wii U. Yeah, the... <laughs> you know, the Wii U, the, the most popular Nintendo console ever. If you, if you like the Wii U, you know what? Yeah, look, people, That's fine, it's a good console, it's just... I think most people who bought it liked the Wii U. Just yeah, no one bought it! The, yeah. <laughs> there were plenty of great games on it. It was a lot of poor advertising and a lot. It was a lot of, a lot of poor, a lot of poor uh, commercial decisions on Nintendo's part, and the lack of a major Mario or Zelda title. Yeah, we got Mario Maker. That was about it. They came but nothing out mainline. Breath of the Wild way too fucking late for it to matter. So late that I think people forget that it was on the Wii U. Bowling for crawd ads. Oh, I I, for, I forgot. Uh, I think we mentioned this when we found out about it, but I forgot since finding out about it that yeah. they uh, they made switch ports of the Genesis Aladdin and Lion King games. Switch ports of the Gen. Oh, wow! Like, they put them together in a pack on a Switch cartridge. And I guess... I guess they're remade. I don't know if they're in 3D or what. I haven't uh, seen any footage. That last one hid from me. He's a... He's a sneaky blue bastard. Would have gotten him. I was doing pretty well. How'd they play? I don't know. I haven't seen... I haven't seen footage of them or anything. The Genesis ones. I I like them. The Genesis was generally considered the best versions of both games. So Nintendo is getting into Genesis emulation now. I guess they have the Genesis Mini came out. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I discovered a channel that talks about uh, about like mini consoles, like plug and play stuff, and just in general bad like those kinds of bad consoles. Yeah. Uh, you heard of Rerez? I have Rez? not. Uh, he talked. He, I found him because uh, he, he, his video, his video on the, the Soldier Boy console, yeah, was uh, was, was talked about. And I did, I knew it was like a, some kind of weird uh, plug and pl like some kind of weird uh, console that had a bunch of emulation on it. I just didn't know the extent. No, you didn't. I, <laughs> I was. You have no idea how amused I was. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. <laughs> probably as amused as everyone else was. He's doing what? He's he's shoving a bunch of illegal ROMs and emulators onto a box and selling it to people. Yes, it was. I have to admit, I I, I admire his hustle. <laughs> soldier, <Boy. laughs> fucking soldier boy, just with music by Viper. <sighs> with, I wish that'd be great if the, uh, the advertising campaign had fucking tracks by Viper. They just completed it. But yeah, Ruiz has a really good uh, style of just having his, his uh, dives into the console seem like very innocent enough. But as he goes on, he just escalates and with his ranting. It's like watching a reviewer have a New Japan style match. Where it just starts off slow and then just escalates. What? Uh Hey, we got another letter! So does he do the major ones, like the NES Classic and all those? I, he only does the worst. He, this show oh, the shitty plug-and-plays. The worst ever, so... Okay. Be... This should be of hum some help to you on your journey back to me. May the stars shine down on you. There were 50 star bits. Save game. We got, uh... Someone had told me that, uh, ha ha Happy Black Friday, everyone! Someone had told me that Walmart had a bunch of Switch games for $30 each, or there was a Walmart... There was a tweet about it. Yeah. Like, some Nintendo Deals account or something. And we were excited, because that would mean that we would get, uh, we'd be able to get Odyssey for, like, 30 Unfortunately, the link that... It, the link went to Walmart's website, and they weren't $30 there. 
And so I went to Walmart in person, and they weren't $30 there, so I don't know what the hell that tweet was talking about. Probably talking about nothing. I did, they did, however, Breath of the Wild was on sale on Amazon and a few other places for $30. So which I think Nintendo's trying to shove it out so that more people will buy Breath of the Wild 2 when that comes out. Oh. I'm, I'm going on and on about this all wrong. Yeah. Are there any more? No. So I, I grab that, and we have uh, Breath of the Wild when we uh, eventually get to that point. And after this game, our, our next mainline will be Mario Odyssey, so we'll have to get a, get a copy of that at some point. Yeah. One of us. I, am, I might do it. I really... Would have been nice for 30 bucks, but oh well. Yeah. I found out about this because uh, Breath of the Wild went on sale on Humble Bundle. Not down Humble to, Bundle? Not down to 30 but it was down to 40 And I, even that, I was surprised by it, because Nintendo games never go on sale. They're very much... Yeah, they don't. Hey, bro. Nothing. Which is frustrating, because and I, you have to wonder how many people would buy them if they were not $60. Wait, what? Can you not... You can't stand on the I planet? I guess there's you, no gravity there. I guess not. It's just something to grab onto. Because they've never tried making their games any cheaper. So it's, there's really no data data point for how profitable they would be at okay. a lower price. Counterpoint, point. if a game goes on sale like really quickly after it comes out, it's probably not doing well. Like I'm not suggest. I'm saying they put out a game and the starting price is not sixty dollars. Oh, they're not gonna do that. No, but <laughs> if they. Does. The, the only uh, major game studio to do that was uh, Nin was Ninja Theory when they did uh, when they did uh, Setsuna Sa Hellbound Setsuna Sacrifice. But then again, that was designed to be like a thirty dollars releasable game. Yeah, it's not it's not a triple A thing to do. It's not. But it's... the question is, if they were to do that hypothetically, would they make more profit because more people would buy it at that price point? That's a good question. Some I, I'm pretty sure. Like most people, uh, Jim says yes. Jim Sterling says says it's possible. I think there's a very good argument for that. I, I don't know one way or the other because they've never tried it. But they should. They, they should. Yes. Like they were putting out 3DS games were forty dollars. They weren't sixty when they come out. Even Sun Moon and such. But you know what? Even if they don't do it, the indie market's really good at like uh, at like picking up the slack and, and like providing titles that are really good for uh, for a budget. Oh yeah. Like like a big like what was it? Fucking uh, if you want like good like uh, really crazy first person shooters, you you just need to look at Doom Blood. They're doing some really good uh, throwback. Is that a coin? Hold on. You just oh that is a it's a psych like token yeah. metal. Nope. Hmm. Uh oh. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to do it. Shit! Ah, oh, you're fine. That's fine. You know what? That's cool. It's a flesh wound. Finished uh, Cyborg 009 today. Finished, yeah. quote unquote. <laughs> it it hit on the biggest cliffhanger to ever cliffhanger. We finished all of the all of the available dub to the internet. The available footage, actually. I, I don't think the last three episodes ever aired, if they were even dubbed. Because we found out they're basically non-canon. They're just kind of fuck-about episodes. Yeah. Like the last episode of Excel Saga. What do they want? Okay, so Bomb Bombs... That they can... You can follow... Oh, it's Lead the Bob bomb Yeah. Hey, idiot, do this. Do this. That's, that's quite a hint. Could probably figure it out. That little circle at the beginning I... already killed it. Oh my god. You can just go down, it's a big loop. Yeah, you're right, shit. Being distracted! Come on. Oh. Whoops. 
They made it seem so easy. I'm... This music kind of reminds me of Cyborg 009. Yeah, it's got that... Now I can go outside! Here's a hint. You can stop that bomb bomb with a spin. Okay, cool. Don't want to fall in the black hole generator. You're a live black ghost? <laughs> I love that. That was... That Richard was just... Epgar got that role just for his villain laugh. It's a, it's a great villain laugh. You're a live black ghost play. <laughs> I would love it. That's his response to everything, though. Yeah. Can't blame him. It's a good response. Are those all a bunch of little black holes? I guess it seems to be. Something is terribly wrong. Here. I think my final verdict of the show is that it was at its best when it wasn't trying to have a plot. It was at its best when it wasn't trying to be serious. The best episodes, bar none, of Cyborg 009 were just the standalone episodes that just kind of went into each one's backstory and things. Yeah. Not to say the other episodes were bad, they just were less, uh, less good. Welcome to the Space Storm. What else is going on? Storm in space. I've been dealing with car stuff. I think we yeah, talked about we that. We talked about the, the car stuff. Shields. Quite a shield stream. Yeah, we talked about the car stuff quite a bit. Uh, By all accounts, I'm, I should be getting it back on Monday. That's the plan. Hopefully, you'll get it back on Monday. They don't try to pull a fast one on you or something. Yeah. It's very tight. Yeah. Did I die once during that? I don't think so. Huh. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, my play uh, my play wasn't what I would call clean, but I got through it. <laughs> cool. That was... Next level. Oh, wow! It, just, it all opened up. And now we need to... And now we need to find out how much bits the, that one fucker needs. Oh! Uh, comet on the beach planet. You know what? That sounds nice. We'll go. We'll, I'm gonna go back later. I mean, not now. What? Well, the comet's gonna move if you don't go back. No, there. no, it doesn't. You sure? Uh, yeah. Like it does. It. This this game's been very consistent about having better comet comet uh, physics, comet mechanics. Uh, oh, maybe yeah. to the four. Oh, is it four? Okay. Uh, you don't have to. I just I think it would be better to not take the chance. Yeah. Here's a question. Because you're working on Donkey Kong three highlights right now. Yep. Do you think that if they if they uh, if they like remade the trilogy? In modern day, would that would that ruin it? Like in the style of Tropical Freeze? I guess, yeah, I'm sure. That's probably how they would do it. It would be in 3D, 2.5D. I th I think that would ruin it personally. It could be good. You know, a lot of people like the the Returns series. Yeah. I, just, I just I feel like Donkey Kong is weird in 2D to me for some reason in 3D. What? Uh. I've already fucked this up, I think. Hello, Charles. I just slid right between it. I know there is a jungle because I've, I've been there to get jungle things. I don't remember where it's at. I ran out of steam. How was Thanksgiving? It was good. It was good. I had dinner with my family. After... Jack Jack went to see his family before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because I thought I would be, like, complete, working, like, completely Thanksgiving, but, uh, 
They only put me in for three hours. I... This is... Alright, please! Jump! No. Why you turn that way, Link? Link. This is doable. I just... I just need to, you know, work on turning. So 35 seconds is pretty tight. something. I fucked oh, it! Oh no! Come on, you got, got it. it. <laughs> now get to that star in one second. Hope they don't want me to do that. They don't. Good. I realized something. You remember the episode of uh, Cyborg where 009 was in permanent fast mode? Yeah. They, they, everything else was like slow compared to him. And they were on an island. So he could just... He, to get to the city and everything, he, he walked across the ocean. Because he was at like super speed. I thought the Sid the city was on the island. You think so? Yeah, like or like they're on just on the coast of an island or something. I, I guess we don't know then if he was able to walk across the water or not. Because he I, probably was. He just. I would assume so, but I realize that's something that Sonic couldn't do because he was stuck on the boat. I'm... Except, he can, well, he, in he can short bursts, in, he can do it. Yeah, he can in, in games. I, I guess maybe he just wasn't confident. I, I'm guessing it's a self-confidence thing. You think so? Because, you know, he can't swim. So he's got more of like a, of an incentive to not do that. As yeah. opposed to somebody like Nine who, who can, I, I, I assume, breathe underwater? Well, he can, he can hold his breath a long time. And sw also swim. Yeah, Sonic can't swim. Sonic but has he, to he, Went across to the island with Helen that one time. That was a much shorter, much shorter distance than across the entire ocean. Yeah. I see a death battle now. Speed v speed. Cyborg 009 versus Sonic. Didn't they do Sonic versus Flash? Which is just unfair because it's no. DC. They did. They did Quicksilver versus Flash. No. If you don't know who Quicksilver is, X Men, right? Uh, he was in X Men. See, it worked there. What the fuck? I think he was in the. I think he was in X Men Evolution, and he was briefly with the, the bad guys living in the shitty house. Yeah. <laughs> this is dangerous as fuck. Whiplash. What's that? There we go. All right. So this is where we're at now. Okay, don't hit the water. Is that water on the left? Oh, that water. Yeah, it's, uh... Oh! Zawaldo! Now watch him stay like, stay like this for too long. It's been a month since I've entered the slow time. Luigi! Luigi can't hear me! No one can hear me! This is so cool! I like this mechanic! <laughs> Just, I think that was my favorite episode, the time stop one. Yeah, that one was pretty good. I like that one. Hold on. It, it gets all like lo shitty and lo-fi too. Yeah. God! Is this what Cyborg 009 felt like? That's because Sonic has a wildly inconsistent power level, as do most superheroes with a single magnified attribute. Eh. Sonic's generally pretty consistent throughout Sonic X, for the most part, which is what we were talking about. If you give anything to too many writers, then yeah, it's gonna just become a. a ah, I almost had it! I'm gonna try that again. Which is kind of my complaint with most American superheroes. 
I did it! I'm a badass. This is, this is a note game. Sure. What are coins good for? Uh, lives and... Is that it? I fucked this one up. I don't think we get anything besides coins from this anyway. Lives. Every time you get... Yeah. <laughs> Be nice to have extra lives. Just in case we get to a hard part of the level. Uh you try imagine trying to do this level without like ultra slow. Yeah. Oh you're describing TikTok clock. Yeah. I guess I am. Uh... You know the speedrunners don't slow it down, I'm sure, right? I maybe they do. Maybe it's faster, other than, rather than trying to, like, get a pattern that just completely sucks. In order to go faster, we had to slow down. I mean, technically it's faster. I'd love to see, like, a speedrunning game where the where it's only ran by IGT, right? IGT? In game time. In game time. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. I'm doing this wrong. It didn't get into the highlights reel, but we did that for uh, Rune Glyphberg's pool party with oh, Tony yeah. Hawk. Our final solution was to buy the cheat that slowed down time. <laughs> it didn't make our uh, skate any faster, jump any higher. We, it just improved our reaction time. Yeah. It was the bullet time cheat. <laughs> Rune Glyphberg's... <laughs> Also, Dragon Ball Z power levels. I don't think they're inconsistent. They're consistent. It's not, it's not that Frieza used his strongest attack to try to blow up Namek. He held back because he was still on the planet. And was afraid of blowing up with it, is the idea. Yeah, he said he used too much energy, though. But upside dizzy yeah, he, sa he says that, like, boom, boom. specifically. Like, oh, I guess I held Slip back sand. too much. Yeah. Hold on. You just looking at galaxies? Let's not, let's not... Who cares? Just go to the next level. Let's not go and... Shiverburn. I've, I've heard that name before. People right, seem well, to we, like Shiverburn. We need... 1,500. We don't have 1,500. No, we, I think we have like 800 in the bank, right? That sounds about right. We need 600 more. I guess Vegeta was the fir the earliest one in the series to blow up a planet, though. Yeah, he did in, in like. Maybe it was a more. maybe it was like a really shitty, easily fragile planet, the bug planet. The planet was mined to oblivion. Trouble on Arlia. Hey Vegeta, why are we doing this? Because we're bad guys, Nappa. <laughs> Do talk to Transformer again sometime. Oh, that'd be great. Joel did a couple of those. I haven't seen his. Damn it. You know, I'm gonna say this right now. Sometimes I feel kind of bad for Rev. Rev? Rev. Why? Because he just. He's like. He, like, other. Like, Vinny still gets a lot of viewers in first for his channel, right? Yeah. And, uh, Joel gets a lot of viewers. Rev! On the other hand, doesn't seem to have anything. That's, just has, that's just every Vine Sauce streamer that's not Vinny or Joel. Yeah. Are per fairly unknown, comparatively. Like, we know their names, but not as many watch them, for sure. Cool. Did it. Cheat him! This is cheat. <laughs> Vegeta's final flash, yeah. He, he, he blows up, they definitely blow up planets without effort later, for sure. It can generally be assumed that anyone in Dragon Ball Z can blow up a planet. I'm going nuts here. We're getting more boxes of junk every day. Sure. 
I, I already started doing that. Oh, it has to be timed. 20 seconds, good luck. Remember when Fireballs hit a single enemy and then petered out? Yeah, well, Mario has more power now. Though. He's increased his power level. Okay, I can do this. I just need... Oh no, now the junk will respawn. Put some elbow grease into uh. it. You lazy fuck. Goku stronger than Vegeta in the Cell Saga. Uh, he's always stronger than Vegeta. Because Goku, Goku trained with a bunch of uh, alien mystics. He's got plot armor. I agree that Gohan sucks, but I mean, it's not that out that not that impossible that Goku training with him would would do him good. Yeah, much better. He's much better in. Uh, this is a secret star. Probably. We'd still. Get yeah, to I'm, get gonna, it. I'm gonna get it. I'm just. There's there's a lot of shit that doesn't make sense in Dragon Ball. I don't think the things you're citing are the stuff that makes the least sense. Is all. Especially if we're accounting for filler, like the like the Arlia stuff, because there was that filler episode where uh, Gohan goes great ape and Piccolo has to put him down by destroying this Goku's spaceship. Oh, Only for Goku's spaceship to later become a plot plot element. Is that, or is that some other spaceship? No, it was, it was Goku's that he came to Earth in as a kid. Okay, Kakarot, wake up, destroy all life forms. And Piccolo blows it the fuck up, and then later they're like, oh, uh, fuck, we needed to use the spaceship. Uh, I thought that was Vegeta's spaceship. No, it was Goku's spaceship. But, like, because there were... Huh. No, they tried to use Vegeta's, and it was, uh, they tried to use Vegeta's or Nappa's, and Nappa's. they destroyed it. Bulma destroyed it on live television, by oh, accident. Yes, and then... And so their solution was to go find Goku's spaceship. That was, no, that was, uh, that was Kami's spaceship. The Namek spaceship. Yes, that's the first one they used, and then the ones that they sent Goku in after everyone else had gone to Namek. Was Namic, the one that Bulma's crew, uh, Bulma's uh, dad, using Bulma. Goku's uh, as a model? Yes. Oh, okay. Bulma and her dad went to get Goku's spaceship from when he was a baby to model for space travel. Didn't they? I thought they just used the parts that. I don't know. I do know. I'm telling you exactly how it it's, happened. I I think. I think you're there, wrong, but I don't have any evidence right I now. I know I'm right, because I remember, I've seen it many times, and I remember it very specifically. Look it up, then. And their, their explanation was, oh, well, it was kind of damaged, but it wasn't damaged so much that we couldn't use it. Trunks kills Mecha Freeze and King Cold like nothing. Yeah, that's, that's power creep. 
It is definitely a thing in Dragon Ball. This is really difficult. It's like, okay. As long as your power level is like one chip higher than the other person, they can't touch you. They'll punch you and you won't even flinch. Well, there'd be like somebody like as powerful as Vegeta, but someone with a knife manages to defeat him. Yeah. Yo, Yajirobe. <laughs> yeah, that, was a, that scene was inspiring when I first saw it. It was cool that it didn't cut. The Cell Saga, in my opinion, was the worst of Dragon Ball Z. Just because it was Dragon Ball at its most DBZ. Everything came down to power levels or flexing and hype. Power levels flexing and, and hype. Not, <laughs> That's pro wrestling. You're talking about pro wrestling. It is, right yeah. There. <laughs> and there was not. And it was uncreative pro wrestling. It was not a lot of variety in how things were, how fights went, how things were dealt with. A, so it was whoever had the bigger explosion. In the Cell Saga. <laughs> no, that reminds me, there's a pro wrestler whose uh, nickname for a while was uh, the Loose Explosion. Okay. Which I'm like, are you serious? Sounds like an innuendo. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to... Fuck it up. I'm just legitimately baffled that this is being so difficult. This is I'm guessing theoretically it should be easier than the bombs, but I'm guessing it wants us to do everything from the center. That's not possible. Though. Like I think you're spending too much time running around and not throwing fireballs from one place. Like that. But then I... Okay. Closer that time than any of the previous attempts, I think. One time I was I was one box off. Yeah. So the other problem is that if I'm up here, I can't really see what's going on down there if I'm trying to focus on. Well, you know so where just, the boxes so are. So just doing doing a spray and pray is not going is not going to work. It's not it's, spray and pray. It's it's aim. It's spray and pray. It's aim from one spot, and aim well. You you do what you think will work. Got it, Steve. Problem is that you can't take on these uh, these box formations at an angle because you're all right in that. I think I think I am. Not, I'm. I need to just kind of not get as close to the to the boxes. I just need to just shoot at them. Yep. Let's give it a go. You're you're barking up the wrong tree if you're trying to get me to defend Dragon Ball because I don't I don't think it's a well written series. No, the original Dragon Ball was pretty good. Yeah, Dragon Ball it Z. Also, it also had a lot of issues with writing, but it, but you know what? It was a fun little series. Yeah, I, I fucked that up really hard. Aiming with this is like I feel like I can, I can only aim in like cert like eight ways with this. Why are robots so demanding? It's like working for Walmart. <laughs> or maybe Walmart is ran by robots. Yeah. That would have been a better plot. Well, that. I have many forms.
I have to get it dead on, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Like... Because sometimes the, the fireballs will just, uh... Will just hit one corner, but then they'll leave another one just completely, like, spotless. Yeah. I agree that it's stupid that Goku's always stronger than everyone, like, consistently, but at least that is consistent. As opposed to, like, Flash or Superman or whoever suddenly being able to, capable of one thing, and then the next arc he's capable of less. That yeah. That's more what bothers me. That, that's really inconsistent. I was close that time. Uh, if nothing else, in Dragon Ball, characters are consistently capable of more and more. Until Super, where Gohan's just a bitch again. <laughs> Man, I, I, I like I'm, I'm out of Gohan. I love Tracksuit Gohan. Yeah. Leave him alone. I'm out of practice. I'm now struggling against Frieza soldiers. Be out of practice too, man. Well, he was out of practice before, and he was still able to take on Deborah, <laughs> or you know, Majin Buu, Bobbity's dudes. Ah, uh, Pule. <laughs> that was a Frieza dude. What was the dude's name? Uh, Poi Poi Poi. <laughs> poi Poi. <laughs> you said you let Ah Pule guard it the fucking. Ah Pule couldn't change a diaper. <laughs> <laughs> All the characters to include in, in Tenkaichi. Apul. Oh, that's fine. Apul's Where, where's Chi Chi? Uh, Chi, -Chi where's, where's Popo and Kami? Okay, the difference is that Apul wants to fight. Chi Chi doesn't. Chi Chi uh, fought one. Chi Chi fought in the anime and exactly one more time than Apul did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're right. And Popo fought at least two more times. I think. I want I want hero. I want Kami in the human. Do Are you ready for the surprise? <laughs> the he was the <laughs> hero was great. Just a ra just a random possessed dude. P possessed by God. Ah shit. <sighs> I try. Let me guess. Oh, I'm gonna school you, and you're gonna give me that look. I'm not give, give me that look, look you give. You just look and you go. I'll probably fail. I gotta point at the screen. Oh no, I don't. Yeah, you just move the stick. Let's put you to work then, slave. Slave. Oh, they don't have a limited range. What the fuck was no, I thinking? They go forever. I don't think this is gonna be the one. You suck! Work harder! Maybe if you, like... I don't not pay you for this! He, he will pay us, though. We can't meet our quota. Okay. Every day we're trapped here until our quota is... <sighs> Sorry. He'll pay us only if we meet his uh, unreasonable demands. Otherwise, nothing. We don't get to eat. That's not even... Harder than the bomb. Could be. Why did they have to reinclude this fucking mini game? His jump changes while he's bouncing on someone. Yeah. Talk. That's how Mario talks. He jumps on somebody. He's like, "Hey, how you doing?" His non-lethal jumps. I keep thinking I have to move the, the Wiimote to aim him, but no, it's it's analog stick. Yeah, 
You're not gonna do it. No, I have to be more precise. Yeah, the spray and pray is not gonna work. It only works in Call of Duty. No, so the, the thing the can't thing in Call of Duty is spawn camping. That's the ace strategy. <laughs> yeah, well, some people would just pick like uh, like some submachine gun so they don't have to uh, ADS, and then uh, they just then they could just like fire at people, and then people get pissed off like, well, all you do is spray and pray. You just some spam rhino. A new one. Yeah, you gotta get your the shot placements have to be precise. It is very difficult. Like, cause otherwise, like that's what I've been trying to do. I'm like, okay, I gotta make each shot like as efficient as possible, and just not even wait for for the shot to finish. But. It seems like it's only like in eight directions, right? Like it, you got oh, the. I don't know. We have an eight. It's an eight directional. It's got like chicks in the in the analog stick. Yeah, I don't know if you can aim like to, in a fur, like in a finer degree than that. Take back over? Sure. Right. Just put some elbow grease into it. Can we just fireball this guy and rob the star? No, because because Mario's not like that. He's too nice. Talking to someone on the discords about uh, short GameCube games. Yeah. Between like Luigi's Mansion and Warrior World. And they said that apparently Pikmin 1 is very short. Makes sense. Uh, first try? <laughs> After taking it back? Yeah, because I'm looking at them like, yeah. That's more like it. Fuck you. Give me the star. If, there, if this were a Wario game, he would now proceed to punch him off the planet. <laughs> wow, I have a rotten day. I love a, a uh, Wario game with like a money bags type character. Oh, yeah. With the same end result. He's like the final boss that Wario gets to beat the shit out of him for taking all his money over the course of the game. Yeah, that'd be great. Fucking money bags was the biggest dick in the game. And I love that that uh, all the in, all the uh, animal buddies you can free. Screaming pulsars! What in the universe is that thing? Uh, I've n I don't know. I've never seen it before. It's a fire flower. Well, <laughs> gotta say, there, you collect some of the most interesting stuff I've ever seen. There's an ice flower in this game, right? Yeah, is that the, that's the last one we're missing. Yeah. <laughs> I guess when we collect them all. I miss trophies in Smash Brothers. Uh, there are there are spirits now. Yeah, well, they don't have flavor text. You don't get to learn misinformation about things. Misinformation? Oh, tell me about the trophy misinformation. There were cup. There were a couple that were off. I don't remember them offhand. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my head. Every time I have a mild headache, I get I get yawny. You you were drinking a little bit yesterday. Yeah, for Thanksgiving. Well, Thanksgiving, so kind of a walk on the weird side. Yeah. It's our Eggman Pokemon.
Oh. That probably should have killed Mario. What the what flash? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're probably right. Some gods of stars. Ah, uh, star. Uh, Charles, you like mythology? You know any, you know any star gods? God of the stars. Oh, hold on. Astrea. Yes. Don't be careful. She'll lead you, Astrea. In ancient Greek. Wait, I'm sorry. She is not to be confused with Asteria, the goddess of the stars. Oh. Well, okay, who are we? Was the titan goddess of nocturnal oracles and falling stars. But, but that, that was... But that, that was... What? Hang on a second. Something seems fishy about that. Category, Stellar Deities. List of Night Deities. Cool. I'm, cu I'm curious who the people of, of Mushroom Kingdom worship, because they're all about star worship, as yeah. we've learned. Very much so. Ooh. Aztec Lords of the Night. That sounds like a metal band. That sounds awesome, actually. Group of nine gods, each of whom ruled over a particular night. Egyptian. Cuck. Cuck the... Oh. Uncre un uncreated god. Cuck the uncreated. Cuck the uncreated... Personification of the primordial darkness. <laughs> the primordial darkness?! There's also nyut. Cuck and nyut. Nah, I'm, I'm kidding. It's actually Newt. Goddess of night. What's this? Oh, here we go. Okay, Aztec has a skeletal goddess of the stars and a fearsome skeletal goddess of the stars. What? One of the skeletal goddesses is nice, the other one isn't. Oh, <laughs> you gotta figure out which one is which, because one of them's telling the truth, the other one's lying. Got it! Mario! I'm here to help you on your adventure! That was close. Fun, fun little stage. Fun fact, the chief deity of the Mari faith is associated with a duck. Great. Oh, I mean, Raw is like our, a giant bird, right? Our holy Daffy Donald. Quetzalcoatl is a bird serpent thing. Oh, yeah. <coughs> 
I just want these adventurers to stop <laughs> stealing from my tomb. People like to have birds as their as their chief deities. They're everywhere. Majestic creatures. A space duck. Space duck. <coughs> it's always a trip when you're eating like some uh some uh eshy western creation and they just randomly drop a reference <coughs> to Dragon Ball Z abridged. Speaking of abridged things, I've started watching the uh, Jello Apocalypse, so this is basically videos. Oh yeah, the saw the they did I think recently did the miraculous ladybug one. Yes. And all I heard was that it was French Sailor Moon. Yeah. It, it, it's just a 3D French ant magical girl show that like Sailor Moon does not give a fuck about plot. Yes. Yeah, it's just it's dark. L Luigi, why is it dark? Lu Luigi, it seems like it's something more up your alley. You want in on this? Want me to take over? Wow, he's offering. That's very uncharacteristic of him in this environment. You want to switch, bro? Yeah. <coughs> I deal with the ghosts, bro. I mean, I guess if we don't have uh, access to, uh, to Odyssey immediately, we can just play Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, that's an option. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of, of Luigi's Mansion, but I guess it's something we could we could could stream briefly. It's not a, it's not a long game. It's not long at all. We could probably get it done in two sessions. Some uh, some house. It's just a maze filled with ghosts. Here we go. Swamp. Swampland. Don't touch it. Where's the part when Tuxedo Mask comes in and saves us? Instant death. Instant! Blech. That's, uh... <coughs> okay. Oh, it didn't what? save it. Welcome to the devil's toilet. Don't fall in! <laughs> I like how they just... How that one uh, person... It was, uh, Roshi who was... Was it Roshi? Yeah, he's like saying, yep, that's the devil's toilet. Here's a tip, don't fall in. It's just like, you're devil's toilet, and you have somebody just say, yeah, you shouldn't fall in there. It's like, at, at, at once obvious, and... But, but is it obvious, though? Just to really bring the point home. Yeah, just... <laughs> it would really suck to, uh, to fall in there, so, uh... You shouldn't. About a god who eats stars. I don't think they'd be very popular in Mario Verse. That sounds like someone who's maybe maybe Bowser would enlist their help. Eat the star. Bowser is a star eater. That was that was the one thing that was consistent across uh, Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door was the star importance. And then oh, Super Paper Mario just kind of didn't have any of that. Granted, it was in another, like, land or dimension or something, but... Moon dimension. I just fucking almost got, got there. Oh, hello. Uh... Mario, I don't like this. Why'd you fall into your Luigi? Well, there's the thing. This is trippy as fuck. The camera does not want to cooperate. Got it. Please checkpoint me. Fighting evil by moonlight. Ah! <laughs> Gravity, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. At what... least we got the con the. No, we have to get it oh, again. Oh shit! Oh shit! Mamma mia! Maybe another chance at this. Wait until it goes a little further. Like get it at the tail end, or don't. Oh, it's just lives. Yeah. I mean. That was fancy. Definitely wasn't unintentional. Mm. 
Oh, you can temporarily make him, uh, regret, regret ever. Oh, got it. Alright, let's try this again. This sounds very similar to the Mario Maker version of this song. Oh, I know what happened. Because, uh, Luigi, uh, he's slippery. We're all slippery, Luigi. You're making me do a... Okay. I guess you could tilt it and it'll get closer. Closer, but not uh, not under. <laughs> Checkpoint, please. No? What is that, a camera? Oh, it's a silver star. Zombie ghosts. Leave this place. We're platforming on people's graves. Oh, it's only temporary. Okay. Do you... Hold on. Wait, what? Is it on a timer? It just... But... I had assumed it was the button as well. This is... Maybe just get the button starts it, and now it's on a timer? Now this- this be Paper Mario-like. Paper Mario should have done this. If it was gonna do any kind of platforming. Got it. Did it! Yeah. It just bounces on his head for a bit. Yep, cool. A ghost. They deserve it. I have a letter for you, Luigi. For me? Help wanted. Got the few odds and ends I need taken care of. Working over in Space Storm Galaxy! Find a little hard work. Mario! My... I... I, I got a letter for you! Hey. Uh, handiwork is more Mario's thing. Luigi's too rich for that. <laughs> Catch you later, bro! <laughs> So our, our characterization of Luigi is kind of like a smug asshole, right? He's the brains of the brothers. Yeah. He, he's, he's the rich guy who kind of just supervises and get makes sure everything goes smoothly. Whereas yes. Mario's the handyman. He's, he's the working guy. Then there was a Scott, the Scott Falco animation, the totally accurate Luigi's Mansion speedrun, which characterized him as kind of like a an insane philosopher. Yeah. Have you seen that one? No. You should. It's... Like, uh, Can you kill what is already dead? You got I wonder. <laughs> Everybody's just, like, all put down by his philosophical nihilism. Your about husband no longer exists on this plane! About a god whose epithet is Lord of Interstellar Space? Lord of... Well, that, that would imply that the ancient religions were aware of interstellar space. So they were some concept of being outside of their planet. That's a big thing to be god of. Is basically saying that they're the god of everything that's besides Earth. Well, they say they're the god of everything besides Earth. That's maybe Sailor Galax that's Sailor Galaxia. Yeah, well then they're they're gonna have or, to fight it out to like figure this. Well, figure it's this gonna out. be have to be a fight between Galaxia and Frieza. <laughs> Sailor Moon, black bad guy, claims that she's got like eighty percent of the galaxy under her control. I so inevitably she and Frieza are gonna have to duke it out at some point. Yeah, and I think Frieza would win. Oh yeah, but probably. Almost I mean, certainly, like, I mean, they, 
people in DBZ are just ludicrously strong, but people in Sailor Moon have ludicrously vague powers. Vague as fuck. Uh. Oh, hey, here we go. Leave. Uh, we took a Sparks level from Spyro, but made it really shitty. Full of ghosts. So, why are there so many ghosts? We're in oh, Lovecraftian hey. territory now. I guess that's true. I guess the ice Mario, the ice flower is not in this game. We have like the the cosmic Lovecraftian gods. Cth Sailor Moon versus Cthulhu. Yeah. That's basically how every season ends, though. Yeah. Well. No, uh, the Dead Moon Circus was, uh, or no, no that, was, that one was just, like, a, a witch woman. The, the Death Busters were, uh, were, uh, Sailor Moon versus, uh, Nair Lothotep. Yeah. As far as I'm aware, the final act of the manga ends with just some, like, her slaying death, or some big black equivalent. Yeah, and that's, that's why everybody's immortal uh, in Silver Millennium. That's what I have to assume. It, it makes... Is it kind? Oh, what the fuck? I, I, I was about to say, it kind of makes sense. What the fuck, game? Alright, final attempt. The bouncing! His nose is too big. Right. Fucking Vinny saying, uh... Wait. Oh, no, wait. You're hurry. You're rushing. I was worried there. Vinny, Vinny saying at one point, like, you know, he used to get so angry I would vomit. Oh, yeah, that is, in fact, a story from his childhood. Zero point. It's too near. Yeah, wait. Zero point. Yeah. I think Rosalina is a Lovecraftian god, the Star Mother. Well, we got, like, her backstory in the last game, and she's, like, from Earth, question mark? Don't cry, mama! <coughs> My mom has turned into a tree. Is that better or worse than um, a mushroom? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Wait, does that mean that Rosalina was the same race as like Cosmo's race? Because because their Sonic? race turned into yeah, because their race turned into trees. Did her mother turn into a tree? Was that a lore element? Yeah, she looked at the tree and he's like, "Hi, Mama." Did she? In a flash. I, I don't remember that at all. In a flashback sequence. Death Watcher, you're the expert. You gotta correct us. Wow. Wall, wall jump. Wall jump. Wall jumps will work. <laughs> Wall jump! Oh yeah. Four minutes, 36 seconds. Yep, that's the final power up. Looks like a soft white mushroom. It's poisonous. You're finding weird stuff. Guess that's just the universe we live in. Right. Wait. <laughs> They kept spraying, but they got rid of ice flower? Yup. That's dumb. The disappointment I have is palpable. Rosalina has the miraculous ability to change her weight at will, it seems. Oh, is that true? Well, she's a lot- she's... Uh, like, medium weight at most. No, I think she's a lightweight in Smash Brothers. But a heavyweight in Mario Kart. 
I maybe she just drives like expensive machinery or yeah. heavy machinery. Oh, man, we still got to collect like what six hundred more? About. We got a ways to go. That's all right. We got a whole world to do it at least. Oh, hidden star. Hidden star. Where? Can we select the hidden star, or we just have to find it? I guess we just have to find it. I'm gonna guess it's the one. Yeah. It has to do with that maze, I bet. It's somewhere in this maze, and I gotta figure that shit out. started. Two stars. There's two launch stars. Again, are there? Yeah, I think. Now, which one did we take? Is the question then? Okay, so. I don't think there are two. So that's Luigi again. There are two. Okay. Well, should we try this one? I'll try this one. No. Nope. Not that one. Just die. No. Actually, yeah, you're right. I should just die. The hand. I love he did the hand thing, but he did the thumbs up yeah. potion. Okay, okay, so follow the right wall, and it'll be the first one we get to. This one? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because the other one was the first one on the following the left wall. No, that's this one. Okay. So we want to go to the first one following the left wall then. Yes. Wow! <laughs> 
It's the same one. I guess they both go to the same place. That's dumb. I, I, is, this area is very disorienting, so... So, I, I guess we're assuming it's something here in the swamp, then? I can look it up if you want me to. Yeah. Probably. <sighs> Galaxy. Up until they reach the launch star at the end of the sinking swamp. Instead of taking it, they should continue following the snake block. What? Which will dive under the swamp but resurface shortly after. Uh, okay. Sure. So just stay on the snakes. I... I tried to do a long jump, but then it decided, no, you're not, you're not going to do that. <coughs> we started the Star God thing because in the, in Paper Mario, on the N64, that, like, the Mushroom Kingdom was, was all about star worship. Yeah. And that continued to a lesser extent in, extent in the sequel. And, I mean... If you if you think about it, it makes like, sense in Mario verse. Yeah, because you collect stars; they're a holy secret artifacts. Why is the swamp fold? The swamp is folded in space time. This is the most paper that 3D Mario has been. Super Mario Brothers series and forget which one we're playing because they're all the fucking same. <laughs> I don't know that. I haven't played them. That's the joke, though. I mean, yeah. <sighs> I guess we could do that before Odyssey. Yeah. Maybe before we get. In addition, I'm also willing to do Luigi's Mansion. So this one's. No, this one's already done, too. I guess we're. Comets are not as important. To slip here. sand. I saw something about green stars, and that like the prankster comets here start appearing when we unlock those. Oh, okay. Squid squizzards. Squizzards. Squizzard. It's a spaceship. This is who built the pyramids. Is it a sand snake? I'm not saying it was aliens. But it was aliens. Can't put out the fire. It's too strong. It's okay. I and mean, we didn't start the fire. So it's been since the world's been turning. The cover of that song sung by Bowser. That right. What would Ganondorf sing for karaoke? What's uh, the most Ganondorf-esque song? 
Well, I'd like an Egyptian, but why? Uh, okay, how about, uh, something with, like, power in the title, right? Power. That power. <laughs> Hashtag that power by Black Eyed Peas. I got that power. I just can't wait to be king. Ooh. But he'd be emperor, though, you, you would think. Is there a difference? Yeah, I did it! I'm, I'm impressed with myself. The Uto as Tekken culture had a variety of star gods. Oh, they're dead. They're, yeah, they're star worshiping oh, cultures. Wait, who, who, which culture? Uto as Tekken. Oh, okay, as Tekken. I thought you were talking about Tekken. Like, wait, what? Mario for Tekken? It's one coin, man. Yeah, I got it. It's really hot here. What's in that giant fireball up in the sky? You Mario, oh. it's an enemy stand! <laughs> oh man, so you do you do JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, but you have Mario, Luigi, uh, Bowser, and Peach. So what, Mario would have a... Uh, would he have a fire stand? Would that mean Luigi is thunder, or does he have like a ghost stand? Oh, uh, he, he'd have the ghost stand. So Mario stand Mario is uh, I think there's sunshine, he uses water in that, but... Mario stand would be Fiery Rhapsody. Uh, Luigi stand... Some Nightwish? Go... Night... It would literally just be Nightwish, and it would allow him to turn invisible. Or whatever he uses on it, invisible. Uh... Each would have something to do with, like, hearts or healing or such. Her thing in, in Super Princess Peach was, like, emotions. So it'd be something weird or rocky stand power related to that, right? Emotional, like... If... Like a person, a person is unable to hide their true emotional state or something. I don't know. Something related to her emotions. Is is Toad on this adventure? Uh, sure. He could be. Do you have a mushroom or some kind of ex exploration themed stand? Uh, because he's the stand that allows itself to map to instantly map out anything it comes across. Yeah. Which includes the genome. Be a useful stand. What would it be called? What would be, what uh, song? Mushroom People. Mushroom People. Is that a stand? Sitting around all day! Oh, the. I guess that was. No, that was sugar. That's sugar. Yeah. So it would be called Sugar. <laughs> Maybe that should be Peach's stand. Sugar? Yeah. And then, uh. Oh, that's not good! <laughs> Is there a song about toads or frogs? Frog? Frog. Oh wow, there's there was no checkpoints the entire time. Uh oh, I got it. Uh Infected mushroom. Oh, that's, that sounds unpleasant. Yeah. <laughs> looks like it looks like a it looks like some crazy fungus man. But its stand is actually but its power is that it can map out anything. all the coins. Outcome not so good. So what would ba Bowser's or stand? Oreo stand can be money, money, money. Uh, or... Like give me some give me, song. Give me some money. Or Is that me, a song? Uh, that's that one, uh... Rich, rich girl. Rich girl? Oh! No, rich man. Because that was a musical well, song. I was a song. rich man. They haven't uh, done any JoJo stands based on musicals. Oh, which makes go. sense, but it would be neat to see. Oh, that, that, that'd that be a fitting name for a stand, is Music Man. Music Man. That was a musical. Ah, uh, cool. Choc uh, chocolate Factory. Chess. Okay, that wasn't a musical. The Candy Man? Yeah, the Candy Man. I didn't question until now the fact that there were flying chickens shitting bombs on our screen. It's fine. Don't worry about it. song with purple in the title? Uh... Purple. Deep Velvet or something? Deep, deep, pur deep Purple. Deep Purple. That can be Waluigi's. That's a, that was a band name, yeah. 
Waluigi in his stand, deep purple. What would it do? Just... Just allow it to cover shades of stuff purple? It just turns things purple. It's fucking useless. <laughs> well, I mean... It's not useless, it's just very... Ah, what? <laughs> what? What is up with... What, Mario, what's up with your footing, buddy? That he has just like some trouble staying on moving platforms. So what would Bowser stand be? There were a lot of glitches related to that in Tony Hawk 4, you remember? With the they tried to have like moving half pipes and they always just didn't work in some way or yeah. another. Yeah. I mean, it was a good game for the most part, but that was not so good. Got some funny moments out of it at least. Yeah. That game was all was very fun. The the, the, the I like the, the Jango Fett arc of the of that anime. Yeah. When they had to rebuild him and, and he became Jango Fett. What does Bowser have to consistent about him? Just like longing after Peach he's and he breathes and, fire. He's big, yeah, he's big and tough and he breathes fire. And we call him a dragon even though he's never s explicitly been called one, so I don't know that we should use that. Uh oh. Uh oh! No, I'm, I'm up here now. Okay, let's do this. So happy together. By the turtles. Ha happy. That would be one of those. Together happy. That would be one of those hilariously unfitting stands. Yeah. Oh, well. Apparently, there's some really stupidly named ones in the English version of what the, were coming up. Yeah. That it, infamously, it's, it's almost be it's become a running gag. Like the translators are just taking the piss at this at this point. We were at, we're out of ideas. We we had worse company instead of bad company was one of the stands. Which was not good. I think someone mentioned there was like a dirty deeds done dirt cheap stand. Oh yeah. With just like a really piss take name. What was the name? Oh, I got hold on. I gotta look this up. Dirty Deeds Stand. Yeah, I wanna know what this, uh... This... Dirty Dude. Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. That's the whole name of the stand. They use yeah. the whole song name. Yep. And the translated name is... Filthy Axe at a Reasonable Price. Fight! Oh, I like that! You <laughs> lost! Oh, I died again! <laughs> Filthy axe at a reasonable price. That's that's. Uh, I like that actually. Purple rain. Buy. It's, it's more creative than Zipper Man. Yeah, Zipper Man was a dumb one. Oh, you know what? A uh, Waluigi stand could turn. He could turn people's vision into purple, so he could temporarily blind people by having them see nothing but purple. Yeah. He could turn the poison into the color purple. If he wanted to, I guess that would I guess that would be useful to see invisible things. You turn them purple. Yeah, like the you are purple now. You could work with the the invisible baby that never fucking came up again. By the way, of the invisible baby. there just was an invisible baby in season season four. Yeah, was that his daughter? It turns out who's uh, Joe uh, old man's. Yeah, Joseph's. Uh, wasn't that old man Joseph's like third illegitimate child? Not that it was ever revealed, I don't think. I thought that was I thought that was, that was what it was. In that I, case, I don't that. why bother like having the the invisible Because it's an invis it's a defenseless baby. By the why way, why bother writing it in the series? I don't know. By the way, it turns out two babies are stronger than Holly. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe her stand was just that badass. Oh man. If she had access to her stand, and she wouldn't have died. She would end up becoming like a really powerful stand user. Stand, stands versus bounce. The bounce were not as creative. The bounce were they were pretty tough, but they weren't they weren't as like weird with their powers. Yeah. Just one. Just, they were just like one was just like a metal golem. One of them was made of winds. One of them was literally just a snake. Although it did turn other things into snakes. Yeah. That was like a uh, proto-Giorno. 
So you you turn things into other things, it, like living creatures? No, just snakes. Nothing else. Only snakes. Yeah, that, that stand... That stand is white snake, totally. The full bringers were closer to the weird, abstract JoJo powers. They, they too... The, weren't the full bringers also, like, named after after music bands? Were they? Or did... did wait, did Rocky just... Or did... Did uh -oh. Taikubo just rip off stands? Maybe, Am I, going I don't up? know. Am I not going up? Am I going down? I guess you're going down. I guess I'm going down. You can't go up, can you? It, excuse me, who are you? Oh god, they they, got a they're smile. so happy to see you. Yeah, a smile on their face. That, that's honestly more intimidating than the angry flump faces. You are correct. Uh oh! Fuck! Hey, guess what? I got a checkpoint. That's nice. <laughs> That, I don't know why, I was doing really well, and then that, that fucking sand section with the moving blocks fucked me up. Dude, just let me climb up the fucking... No? Okay. This thrilling. Rolling around oh, they, at the speed of sound. They, they okay. A, I can't, I can't do my double jump. B, I can jump over them. <coughs> I can jump. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. Well, fuck it. You might as well stay in the middle then. Yeah, I could just fucking jump over them. Kind of. Well, it's good enough. There's a full bringer named Mo. Who's this motherfucker? Mo? Probably Is he Mo. Mighty? Probably Mo, A. Eh? Alright, time for the boss. The lost substitute Shinigami. Oh. I, I guess he's involved in the full bringer arc. I just don't remember this dude. It's a giant sand Koopa. Yeah. That is a very derpy face. That looks like a Warrior World boss. Uh, you have to really... And you have to, like, hit the things back at it or something. Oh, there's a rock power-up? Oh. He's gotta get in his mouth. Oh, shit. Are you done yet? No? Excuse me, what is that? It's tentacles? Oh, they're cannons. In all honesty, this guy is not all that threatening. Uh-oh. So right after he throws the bombs is when he's vulnerable. Yeah. 
Come on! Oh, you have to destroy them. Can't be passive. Oh, yeah, yeah, destroy the cannons, yeah. Shit, 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 shit. I'm dead. And I lost it. At least he, su he supplies us with infinite life. Yeah. I cannot... Did I? I did. You done? Get out of here. <coughs> if nothing else, it is nice to have a Mario game with bosses besides Bowser and the Koopalings. Very much so. Which Bro enemy varieties are good. I guess we did get that in New Super Mario Brothers. On the DS. I assume the other ones as well. Huh? I think so. Ah. The, fir the first several 2D games, it was just them. In Mario 64 had other bosses, they were just all kind of shitty. Yeah. Okay, so the Fullbringer's names, the characters themselves are all just Japanese names for the most part. They're Fullbrings. Yeah. Let's see, they, we have Cross of Scaffold. Cross of Scaffold? Time Tells No Lies. <laughs> Dollhouse. Okay. Dollhouse I, I'm familiar with. Dirty Boots. Dirty boots. Book of the End. Book of the... Oh. That... Invaders Must Die. That's a song. That is totally a song. What, Invaders Must yeah, Die? Yeah, that's a Prodigy song. Uh... And then... There's, oh, oh, Jackpot Knuckle. Jackpot Knuckle. And th then Chad. Chad was introduced before the Fullbringer, so he's just got his, his all Spanish names. Bra Brazo de Recha de Gigante. And Brazo... Izquierda del Diablo. Yep. Like, left hand of the giant, right hand of the devil, or something along those lines. I remember that's what they were called. Yep. Yeah. Silver stars in double time. We've been to this one once before? Yeah. Lots of bits around, at least. Dun, 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 dun. Now they need to really fuck with you. And do a level like this in three time. <laughs> and then five time. And then seven time. Okay. I'm like I'm liking this level already though. I heard something recently, it was in like 13 time, and I can't remember what it was. I think it was a character theme from something. <laughs> Fucking hell! This is, this is challenging as shit! This isn't in double time, this is like in, in like, times four. Because usually... Thank you for the quick checkpoint, game. I 
jumped a, a frame short. Ah. Damn it. Full okay. speed ahead. No chill, Mario. <laughs> there we go. One way or another for Bowser's stand. Wait. I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna get you, get you, get you, get you. Get you. What's that called? Just get you, get you. I, I don't know the name of the song proper. I assume it's one way or another. Oh god, this makes it so much easier. I did, could not jump. Dang One it. way or another by Blondie. One way or another. The song would be, so the stand would be called like two way or something. Sure. Just one way. One way. One direction. <laughs> Somebody did a, did like a, a chapter or two of a, of a crossover between uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and Gravity Falls. Yeah. And, uh, and it was a Dipper stand, but uh, but Dipper was fighting a dude with a stand called One Direction. Yeah. Which I thought, you know what? Fine. That works. The, uh, Jello Apocalypse did a This Is Basically Gravity Falls. How'd that go? Apparently he liked the show, which usually doesn't like the things that he watches for the, sh for the thing. <laughs> he, liked, he liked the show, he just mostly complained about Mabel, I guess, being a bitch who never got her comeuppance. She and was a lot, fine! Like, people give Mabel maybe too much a lot shit! Of that is in the ending episode that we still have not watched, Jack? Fair enough. <laughs> Don't initiate the apocalypse. That'd be great. Made a joke about her starting as the best character and then becoming the worst because she learns nothing over the entire course of the series. Uh, I don't, honestly, it's been so long since we've watched it, I don't remember most of it at this point. We could do a, we could do a, a we could do a, a watch through of it. Yeah, all the way through again, just to stop at the end. <laughs> I did, okay, there is a reason why I was reluctant to continue. Yeah. Because I heard that there was one episode which had Takahashi level hijinks, and I'm like, I couldn't handle it. As far as, I, is, it the, is it the finale? Because that's all we haven't no. watched. Are you sure that was, are you sure we didn't watch? We, we, yeah, we stopped at just the finale episode is all the only thing we haven't seen. Are you sure about that? Pretty sure, I can pull up the, pull up the link. Video shows Gravity Falls, season two, episode sixteen. List of Gravity Falls episodes. This is really fucking with my timing. I don't. Okay, I guess not. We had a, uh, we had two episodes left, and then the, then the finale. Yeah, I think this the episode we were going to watch was one which had awkward Takahashi level hijinks that I cannot stand. Yeah. <laughs> I, need to, I need to buckle down and concentrate on this. This is giving me a lot more trouble. I, I can try it. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. I don't want over there. Or just do a long jump, right? I got it. Please stop. I would love it if the they're, they're not gonna stop. 
Please stop. Please stop! Now make it to the top. Hello, Please Sandy. Stop. It stopped. She tear! <laughs> Woohoo, we got a star. Excellente. <clears throat> that was easy. Radical. Hey, kids! Skip that episode and just move on to the one after. We're not gonna skip the episode, I Jack. Then, we'll, then I guess we're not watching Gravity Falls. I guess not. I'm just gonna keep <laughs> holding it over your head. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, that's that's why I was. No, nope, not. Nope. <laughs> we got a prankster comment. Yeah, that was a prankster comment. Oh. I guess I have to deal with this guy's fucking request, too. Hold on. Space Storm. What did we miss in Space Storm? I guess a secret star. Yeah, this one. Wait. Okay, where? Somewhere in, in, in this long section? Should I look it up, or should we give it a shot first? Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot. Why not? You will never stop me from conquering the world, cyborgs! <laughs> I don't know why, this music just reminds me of it. Yeah, you're correct. Ch We have to sacrifice. We have, one of us has to sacrifice ourselves in order to complete to beat Black Ghost. I'm glad that. <laughs> I'm glad that second to final arc had to do with psychics in Zero Zero One because he got fuck all outside of that. Yeah. I mean, he was a baby, so how much character development can he really have? But he was a, he was a smart baby. Baby, you smart. Oh, my baby! Top 10 list of, of, of non villainous anime babies. Uh, Zero Zero One. Is, are there others? Uh, I guess Pan now and Super. Non villainous anime babies? Yeah, Pan. Uh, she doesn't really. The only, only super heroic shit she does is, like, help with the god stuff while still a fetus? Yeah. Uh, that's something. That was important. Uh... You should just ride all the way to the top to examine the entire cylinder, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the very bottom of, uh... Doesn't look like there's anything out of the ordinary. Oh, just a cylinder. What kind of weird gravity resulted in this? Experimental gravity. Okay, so... So the Babong goes down there, and that leads to a, a launch star. Yes. I don't... see anything... that, like... What's that to the right? That's the oh, sign. That's, a sign. that's that one side. Hello, I'm Bill Board. <laughs> I tell me what the fuck is going on here. Probably in the next section. Hopefully. So there's a blow up a bull thing at the end of this. Now 
this is an extra life, though. I didn't catch the last last Spyro stream, Sandy. How's it going? I know Sandy's streaming the trilogy, the new one. Oh, cool. This is a... Does Spyro still sound like a really, uh... No, he's Tom Kenny now. Uh, for, uh, game one. Where's Nasty Nork? I'm gonna squash him. I like, I like that. That was a great... Hey, you! Oh! Oh, no. You're... You're, you're searching for that star, right? I found one at the garbage dump! Don't you want to come work at the garbage dump? Okay, what do you want me to do? Oh, gee, he wants a pet. Uh, Fuck you! Do they respawn? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh. Do I respawn? Nope. You know what? It's for the best. Here, come over here. Sir. Oh, okay, good. You're now follow me. What the hell hit me? The little yellow guys. Of course, they're they're good at blending into the background. They do look like star bits. Clear path, motherfuckers. You remember Fight Club, right? Yeah. Would you consider Tyler Durden to be a hero character or a villain? Or somewhere in between? Uh, I, mean, I guess, guess he'd be a hero. He wants to, once he finds out what's going on, he wants to put a stop to it. Are you, wait, are you talking about Tyler Durden, the alternate personality, or uh, the corporate the drone? The main Tyler. character. Oh, uh... Ty wait, is Tyler the blonde one? Tyler's the blonde one. Oh, no, he's, he's a villain. Cool. But some people thought he was like a misunderstood hero. It's a good thing these things don't hurt you. I, I wouldn't call anyone who threatens to cut a dude's balls off a misunderstood hero. Yeah. We guard your meals, we haul your trash, we cook you while you sleep. Wait, or we guard you while you sleep. Hey, you! Yeah? You. Ah! He's, oh no, there's the little yellow guards. Wait, it's running away! It knows that it's a oh. trap! These little yellow fucks are gonna be the death of you. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. I'm... Okay, come on. We did it! Thank you! We don't need to worry about what it's going to do with that. What life lies ahead for Mr. Red UFO? Gonna be treated well, clearly. That was that was uh, not so good. Do you think there's a? Do you think there's like a dark story fanfic where the Straw Hats like sell one of their own to the slave market uh, on that island? The, that, uh, the archipelago. That sounds like. Uh, you know what that sounds like? Sounds like uh, sounds like the, pl the plot of like a manga you'd find on. Uh, on one of those sites. One of those sites, yeah. Is that a Gearmo? Well, I hope it doesn't try to put everyone to work. Oh, we They have a reputation for this. Maybe it'll finally want to relax for a change. Join our crew. Sure, why not? I wish the Farscape crew were here. They were a very good ragtag bunch of, uh... Members. Farscape? That was a show. It was a guy who uh, who was from like modern day Earth, and he was on a project to try to develop faster than light travel using like gravity curvatures. And he ends up flinging himself to like a far reach of space where he looks hu like human, but the main bad guys also look exactly like him. Where are you going? I'm trying to find the Gearmo so I can tell him not to, to put anybody to work. Where's the Guillermo? Back of the head, maybe? Guillermo! Oh, this is the 
front. Or is it? No, this is the back. Here you are. Oh, there's two of them. Hi, yeah, you sure were helpful. Take this. Cool. What about you? What's your deal? Thanks again for all your help. I love gathering a pirate crew that does fuck all. Yeah. They just hang around on my ship and mooch. <laughs> Are we pirates? Or space travelers? Where are you? Oh, that's great. There's a... There's a Captain Toad ship right behind. You think we'll, uh... You think we'll ever get... An ale storm stand. Ale storm. Oh, like um. Uh, I'd be very happy to see a dragon force stand. Just a stand called Dragon Force. What would the what would the localized name be? Dragon Farce. Dragon Dragon Sound. Sure. Cause uh, although that's a that's a fake band from a from a movie called The Miami Connection. Yeah, was, the main plot was uh, was like a, a group of band members who happened to know Taekwondo called uh, Dragon Sound were fighting. I think I actually have enough. Hold on. Wait, what? Whoops. We're fighting a bunch of ninjas, so they were just doing their song at a venue, and then ninjas harassed them. So what they did was that they wrote a song, like, I guess calling them out, called uh, Against the Ninja. Yeah. God, Miami Connection is crazy. The uh, green one. Yeah, you're right. My father! I found my father! Not even close. Oh, we're close. Are we? Do we have like 500? We have... Oh. Well, we had more than I thought, but we still need a little bit. Yeah. Thank you! Everyone just... Shitting out extra lives for you in this game. Nice glasses, oh. huh? Were you able to buy those with our star bits? Maybe, maybe someone was wearing glasses. A banker character who, uh, the more money you put in the bank, the n the nicer looking they are. <laughs> like obviously, the ritzier life they're living. Yeah. That's basically the first Tingle game. It's just throw the, the goal of the game is throwing rupees into a tower. Scaling the sandy seas. And as you do, the spirit just gets more and more lavish <laughs> in the way he's living. That's that's funny. Oh. Okay. See you later, bro. Oh, is, is he back there? You don't have to be Luigi. I don't I care. Is, what do you unlock? You unlock a ghost. There's too many of them. We need to keep the afterlife clear. Death Clock ever wrote a metal song for ghosts. Ghosts ain't got no good metals to listen to. No, oh, black metal is really good for ghosts because they because it's their Death life. Metal. They, they experienced yeah they experienced that life. What would life metal be? Uh, I guess that's kind of like power metal, right? I I'll have to think about like like actually finding some life metal like bands or whatever. Is it See like if that's a thing? Is it like metal crossed with uh, hippy dippy music? Maybe, but uh Hendrix metal. But something I I do remember, right, is that uh Oh that's neat. I like this mechanic. It's uh it's like ghetto sonic. But uh somebody said that there's a, a band called uh Kuro Kuro Bonito. I think I played them for you once. Yeah. Maybe. But uh but somebody called them Life Grips. Yeah. And their song was very happy and, and stuff, so... Wait, what? Excuse me. Just to be able to get back up, I guess. Oh, I get it. I get it. Wow, well, is this what it feels like to be, to be Luigi? I'm making money doing nothing. Yeah, I imagine life metal. I would say I would say Dragon Force is more like life metal. Yeah, it gets it's it's full of life energy. Yes, give us your life energy. 
Whereas death metal is filled with dark energy. So Giorno would be like the perfect the perfect counter to Queen Barrel. He would just pump them full of life energy, never run out. Oh yeah, that's right. I I think he would kick the like the pillar like those four pillarmen. No 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 the not the pillarmen. Oh the the dark Danger, kingdom. Don't fall. Don't fall in. The dark kingdom guys. Oh, it's a sandbird. Jadeite, Nephrite, Kunzite, and Fuckboy. Yeah. Who was made into a woman in the dub because you can't have, you know, homoeroticism in your anime in the 90s. Sailor Moon, the most LGBT friendly uh, anime. More so than Takashi, for sure. Takahashi. Takahashi. Whereas Sa Sailor Moon. Outside the dub has several like explicitly lesbian situations. Guess what? I fell in. And then every Takahashi series, even the modern ones, as far as I've heard, just kind of kind of treat homosexuality as a joke. Which you know, to that's... a lessening degree over time, but that's still kind of the gist of it. Yeah. I... I've never seen Rene, that's the only one that I've, I've not seen at all of Takahashi's, the latest one. I wonder if they're... Didn't we look that up and it just sounded like Takahashi Bleach? Uh... It involved like a Shinigami or something. Sounds like it. Yeah, the... Wow, the Sandbird has gotten a lot shittier since Sunshine. I don't know. This is the low-budget Sandbird. It can heal, so... Fuck. I can't re not being able to recover. The, the downtime you get after you take a hit is just it's nasty. It's weird that you slid off the stand sand instead of moving with it. Yeah. Has there been a purple haze stand yet? Don't think so. What would that? I guess is that is that, that a be... song purple haze? Yeah, going through my brain. Or well, maybe that's all of these. Say the same. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. Or kiss the sky. Uh, it was originally excuse me while I kiss the sky, but then people misheard it. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. No. And then and then Hendrix was like, "Fuck it, I'm down." Yeah. Oh, that's what's going on. The fireballs are. You just got that now. I wasn't paying attention. I was usually trying to kill them before. I was thinking of uh, smoke on the water, actually. Smoke on the water. Yeah, that's the. That hasn't been a stand yet, has it? No. Smoke on the water. That would be an interest. That would be the kind of stand you'd expect a hillbilly to take. To have. Would it? I don't know. What would the stand be? What is I mean, it depends be? on how literal it is. It's ne The stand never has anything to do with the actual name, though, in JoJo. Okay, who are you giving Smoke on the Water to? Ah. Uh, would it. Like, if we were going more literal, it'd probably be like some dude who is, like, out on the sea and has, like, some weird mist around him all the time. Oh. It'd be like, it'd be like a, a lost ghost ship episode, is the smoke on the water stand. Thank you, Bird. What are you gonna do, Chain Chop? I'm up here now. God. Smoke on the water is the stand, is the... Stand of K. Rule. Yeah. Or like, uh. I don't know, seafaring. We kind of just got the one dude on the scene. He was very forgettable. The water guy. Oh, yeah. Him. Yeah, he was very forgettable. The more, the more rememberable, like, water dude was, uh. was strength. Yeah. So he was a fucking orangutan. How do you forget that? Shiver burn. After shiver burn, hopefully we have enough for the 1500. Yeah, that'd be nice. We need 185. Prince Picante. Oh, it's gonna be Yoshi Peppers, isn't it? Hope not. Oh. Is that him? You're, uh, you're. So, it's, so we gotta fight a tank, dude. Yes! 
Yes. How many did you say we needed? 185. Okay. Glad that lava isn't an instant kill, but Poison Swamp is for some reason. Lava is very survivable by comparison. My favorite, like, uh, like horrifying scene involving lava involved uh, the one dude in Volcano who, uh, who was trying to get across, like, lava to save this one dude. It was in a subway, right? Yeah, it was in a subway during a volcanic eruption. And, uh, and he was, like, desperately trying to get the other guy out. And he couldn't, so he threw him to safety while the lava was consuming him, and you just hear him screaming, he's going, ah, ah, And then he just goes, ah, And then, oh, shit. Not good. Not good. Wait, no, come back! And he just stops screaming. And, uh... And you just know, yeah, he... Do we have to continue with the clouds and no nothing else? Uh... It seemed like that was the end of this platform. It's over there, too, as well. Huh. I got Mario's stand. Oh, okay, okay go for it. Great balls of fire. Yeah, that, that checks out. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. I don't think you can do anything from here. I think we gotta go back to the thing. We gotta ride the platform again. Where's the platform? Back to the right. I can't turn! Mario, let me turn! There you go. Oh, it's, it's moving back and forth on its own now. Long yeah. jump. Got it. Easy peasy. But I got tagged. So we gotta get that cloud and then go all the way to that button. Seems like it. Why'd I do that? Ah, oh, whatever. Whatever. I wonder if the switch uh, makes it colder. Oh, that's There nice. you go! <laughs> now, is it temporary? Be a dick move if it was. Okay, I'm gonna get the timing down next time. Oh, we need to find the comet coin as well, and I have no idea where it could be. Do a do a. Th uh, can you look around with the camera here? Like, all the way in a full circle. It's not here. Random star, uh, star bit hanging out. Yeah. I thought maybe they'd hide it behind the starting platform, but they did not. Would have been a really dick move, but they didn't do that. Did that with a coin in Mario 64. There's something over to the left of us here. Did we check out over there before you get on this thing? With the, the left? Behind you to the left. Mario. To left. So just more star bits. To the left. To the left. That's it, your right. Yeah, you said left, and there. I moved left, and you're like, that left. Because you didn't go far oh. enough left. There's okay. a platform over you there. You should have said more left rather than just repeating left. Then you, okay, you should have gone more left. Yeah, it's just a coin is all. Okay. Nick of time. That's impressive. Alright, we're now free to roam. Be 
cool to see a Paper Mario game with uh, all the new kind of item ideas since Thousand Year Door. I don't know what someone would do, but... Oh, what? hello. Are you a secret star? Excuse me, who are you? You yeah. got the time? Time to take the gym? Hope you like to skate. You're gonna need to bump as many gummits as you can. Avoid the spiky ones, though. Oh, God. It's whack-a-mole. Don't hit the spiky ones. It's much easier than the last game. All Japanese versions of Whack-A-Mole have the gold one that's worth extra points. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. I noticed that in all these games. I gotta make it. Is this gonna be like- oh. Oh. No. Gold? Almost! So close. I was gonna say, if this is gonna be Chip, like- Now, Chip, are you gonna take my life? This is gonna be like oh. the Zelda game and demand perfection. Don't think so. Well... Hello, Anvar. Hey, Anvar. Oh, it's random. Wouldn't want to- wouldn't want to succeed through memorization. You only want to do that on the parts of the game that expect you to succeed through memorization. Kong's illegitimate child. He played games like Grandpa wanted. Is Cranky Kong the grandpa of all the Kongs, or? Well, he's. I think he's the grandpa of at least Donkey and Diddy, as it's suggested. Yeah. He was originally Donkey. He was the original DK. Yeah. So Junior's unaccounted for. Actually, I, th I think it's it's debated. I wish I wish there was a picture of like Frankie Kong just uh, just like talking shit about uh, that one uh, fraud high school boulder. Yeah, Billy Mitchell. You heard about that story? I'm familiar. Oh uh, yeah. What was the fraud? It was because he wasn't using an arcade version. He was emulating, right? Yeah, he was emulating uh, and not telling people. And also, there's other inconsistencies. Yeah, basically, he was doing that and submitting the score, and then he, re yeah. As like legit arcade cabinet scores. It is uh, random insofar as where they happen to pop up. Yeah, but the patterns are pretty much. I pretty guess the only expect. safe thing is to not be on top of one of the holes when they pop out. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. One. You got a solid chunk of time to get them. Yeah, as long as you don't hit a spiked one, you're pretty much good. You don't... So we just gotta get the two golds and... No. Ah, oh. uh, bad luck. Bad luck fall it. Every time there's a bad luck, I just want bad luck folly to come in and go fuck them. Maybe this would go- maybe Mario would do better if he was fully healed. Cause you know, he's like shrugged off injuries, he's trying to play an elaborate game of whack-a-mole. Yeah. If the game's just a crock of shit, there's no way to do it. There's no way Jose show up. No way! Jose! Uh, 
Uh, if you're not having fun, you get no fun done. There'd be an extra layer to No Way Jose if he was also, like, super skinny as shit. Yeah, unfortunate, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I, I don't know which one he's not. He's just the dude. Ah, shit. Oh. Ah. Damn it! The last one seems to always be the four sides. Or spikes. Yeah, it's like the other one being... It's like it's the one weird. before it baits you into being there. Yeah. Bait and switch. At least we're not dying from the spike ones. Yeah. It's, a, we're not dying from the spike ones. B, we're not dying for losing, for losing the game. This could be a good Mario Party minigame. Yeah. I can kick your ass at this. Uh... Uh, around this time, Mario Party's too busy putting everyone in the same car. Oh, yeah. And making the game the baby easy. They really... Like, we talk about how they aren't, aren't really interested in doing any more F-Zero stuff, but... They seem to really not like Mario Party anymore. Ah! Oh! Well, they got they kind of got their shitty pickles together with Super Mario Party insofar as the game, as far as couch play, is great. There's not new mini games, but they brought back a lot of the good old ones. Yeah, and they had some new interesting ideas to add. They just need to do that, but with new boards and new mini games and online play. Unfortunately, Nintendo doesn't do taking the game and just making it better. They're no. gonna have to add some kind of gimmick to the they, next one. They don't... they overcomplicate their yeah. new ideas a whole lot. It is... the agony and ecstasy of being a, a, a Nintendo fan is just... It's waiting to see if they're gonna revisit something, and if they do... If they're uh, not see gonna, how they're fuck gonna fuck it up. Fuck it. Fucking fuck it up. Okay, we do Paper Mario, but it's a platformer now. Yeah! Oh, it's almost. <laughs> it's, it's photo finish every time. We do Paper Mario, but we take out the Star Worship. Now it's Sticker Worship. <sighs> so would you want it like a Paper Mario style game? Like, uh, like if it's a new license, or do you just like Paper Mario because it's Paper Mario? Because it has Mario characters in it, as well as having a good combat system. Yeah, Mario is part of the charm. It's not completely necessary. Like, if they could capture that same kind of charm, I think it'd be fine. But, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to match that. If you were to write an original IP involving, the, like, involving like, a similar kind of charming style, would, would you like want to take that chance? I, I would be I would be down for that, yeah. yeah. I'd make the attempt. Get, get like game maker and just uh, play around with it. Oh come on. Ah! ah You're on the right track. The best place to be on the last one seems to be in the middle. It's just it's just a get good moment, I uh, I feel. I just need to I just need to get good. Stick of Truth had some good ideas gameplay-wise, but yeah. as we always say, it's just, it's South Park. You can only take so much in one sitting. Yeah. At a certain point, you just want to see something that takes itself kind. Is it, am I seriously? Shit. That fucked me. This is... At least it's not the fireballs in the boxes. That was rough. I think I think I'm done with I think this this one I just ah. you try a couple times? Yeah, go for it. That that's rough. That was... Imagine I... the chimp killed you on every failure. <sighs> that that would be some other games. Yeah. Fortunately, they don't. Thank you. 
Yeah, you you're obligated to get it like quicker because then it goes to the next set easier. If you yeah, let the time run out, then it'll. Uh... I figured they were just on a on a set timer. No. Mario heavily breathing as he does all this. That's always a straight line, but it seems to be random where it's set. That's it. Yeah. 20 off. Oh, it's... I think the battery's just done. I don't think that has to do with the controls, but yeah, it's gonna stay on the screen now, so... Too bad, only 580 points. Wish we had, like, a, like a battery pack we could just put in there and just plug in. Even when that ran out, it would still do the beeping thing and everything. It's it's the fault of the Wii. It's the fault of the game's design. Yeah. <sighs> hey, batteries are infinite, right? We don't need to worry. We can do it wirelessly. Wireless. Need to refresh it. Communications have been interrupted. There we go. Alright, cool. I kind of wish it wasn't random, but you know. Detroit Pizza does subs now. I don't know, every pizza place does subs. Nowadays. Uh, you, are you giving up? Yes. Well, just for that attempt. You go for it. A little more. Rocking that uh, green onion spray hair. Oh, like uh, like that one uh, alien kid from uh, from Gantz. Onion bark. Onion bark. Give me onions. Let's kill him in a brutal way possible. Make his trench coat wearing dad pissed off with us. Frankenstein Homer. Fuck! You, 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 you choked around it. You choked. <laughs> Almost had it. I feel like these stars are the ones that are eating the bulk of our time. No, the the, the repetitive ones that require the mini game ones. Yeah. The flower and. This is still way more fun than the Fire Flower one, though. Yeah. Because you don't know how it's gonna go. It's not like a guessing thing. Fuck. Fuck it. Sixty- Ah! It's just like you get to the very end and then suddenly it's just one mistake. It's 
Reminds me of that one uh, show, uh, WWE show, where Ted DiBiase is like asking a kid, "Hey, if you drove this ball like ten or twenty times, I'll give you a hundred dollars." And then he's like getting up there, and we got like one away. He then just smacked the ball out of the kid's head, and just like. <laughs> Didn't say I wouldn't interfere. Oh, this kind of one's looking good. Jinxing it by saying that. Always the side. Fuck oh. it! Whatever, 660. That's Hold fine. Yeah. I can't believe you actually beat my score. And that's for me. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Cool. All right, let's move, move on to the next star. That was, uh, that certain. Yeah, these aren't taking up the bulk of our time. It's just the fucking, uh, fucking minigame stars. It's just, hey, oh, you want to navigate through a dangerous, wait, a prankster comet? This far out? Okay. Sure. How are our bits? 169. Uh, we still need one more, so... Yeah, sure, let's check out this Prankster Comet. Wait, did we not get the, the Prankster Comet in this world? Hold on. Now the Prankster Comet, the, the, the coin? Did we not get the coin? Could've sworn we did. No, we did. Okay, good. Daredevil run. Okay, the, the, doing this Daredevil is not going to be easy. Accidental backflip. Alright, let's try that again. Do I really need to get close in order to trump toggle the boss fight? I do. Of course. You 
You got a speed run, sand boss? Uh, not a speed run. Uh, Daredevil run. Oh boy. I don't envy that. This one didn't look fun. This one is, uh... This looks like an annoying boss to me. It is slightly annoying. But I just realized you can, you can launch up on the sand, which really uh, fixes some of the mobility problems I was having with this level, this boss. Get your cannons out. That's it! Got him! Maybe. Maybe I got hit. What? Uh, that would suck to play this cutscene and then Mario does the death animation. Oh yeah. Well, we'll find out. He seems fine. He's Collapse. Fine. What are you talking about, you well, stupid fool? It was fine. It you took won! Me. It was fine. It only took me a couple tries. That wasn't like that missile boss. Mario would be the underdog in Mario v. Sonic, right? I... Like, he's the, he's the Rocky who just takes hit after hit, but gets through on sure willpower. He's just tough. Sonic. Alright. Yeah. And then he gets that final blow, like the Luffy versus, uh, versus Spring Guy. Just the boom, and Sonic goes down. <laughs> Mario just does a jump. Perfect. Exactly in the amount we needed. Thanks for making me broke. I can't afford my prescription anymore. Asshole. You don't understand. We need, we need to get inside. Whoa, this one's got a, like a nice uh, air. Got a little poof. Yeah. You know, looks like you found a hungry Luma. I did. Want to eat? Got any tasty star bits? Better hurry up, you're running out of xylophone. I'm gonna trace. Hopefully, this is the last time we have to deal with one of these guys. Watch, we're gonna get to the next one. It's gonna be like 5,000. 5,000 is a tall order. What galaxy is this? I hope we don't have to pay a Hungry Luma to unlock the, the Champion's Road or whatever it is. Fleet Glide. Fleet Glide? Sure. Is that Fleek? Is that what the kids are saying? I'm finna play some Mario Galaxy. You wanna play? No. Oh. Play your... I'm Fleek. Oh yeah, because the the uh, sword and shield slang. Is, is that the sword and shield thing? I thought Fleek. What? We're old. I've been asking somebody because they're like somebody said to me at work. That's a mood, and I legitimately had no idea what they were talking. Vibe about. check. Vibe check. Yeah, I asked him about. It. I'm like, what's a vibe check? I'm like, I, I don't know. You can glide through the big sun circle. You win. Oh, okay, it's one of these. Alright, here we go. I couldn't rip. I couldn't dive in time. What the f. Alright, let's try this again. Fly! This music sounds familiar. Where have I heard this? Was it a... Uh... Is it Mario Maker? Oh! Could be. Like the, uh, when they were... So this isn't a race. This is just Danger Course. Yeah. Ah! Why are you hitting the roof, Ma Mario?
I cannot control my flight to save my life. Shit. It's like with Shaq, he's like, like on the fucking flying watch. How do I control this crazy thing? I can't steer this crazy contraption. Which he's true, he could steer it right to left, but he could move it up and down. Figure that shit out. Maybe gotcha. this is the galaxy track. No, this isn't the galaxy track in uh, Mario Maker. That was a different one. No, oh, because it's got that vague desert. Okay. Mario Bro Super Mario Bros. X. This is the title music. Oh, is it? That's where I've heard this from. They used. They just used it. Yeah. Well, it's a Mar It's a Mario fan project ROM hack thing. Why would Why wouldn't they use Mario music? I'm gonna need to I was so, it was so things. familiar, I just- I've heard this for like five hours for Mario Brothers X contests. There you go. By the way, I wonder if there's a way you can get uh, Mario Brothers X. I'm sure it's- I'm sure it's somewhere. You know nothing can ever be completely scrubbed from the internet, though. No. Unless it can. It's always weird, those... You almost got blended. <laughs> I... <laughs> Dudes, it's costing him $35,000 a day to keep him alive. What are we gonna do about it? Sew him together wrong! Hey, that's a cool name for a, ta for a song title. Sew together wrong! <laughs> he seemed happy about it. He was cool with it. Well, he, his whole gold life was to serve de death clock food. Then he later poisoned the, the, the queen with a mercury cake. No, don't touch it. It's very sweet of metals. Alright, that didn't say course complete, so I'm gonna guess there's another star. Probably here. a good guess. No? No? I guess we unlocked- oh, well, we didn't get the comet medal. Can we get the comet medal? Oh! Wait, oh, I think it has something to do with those gates. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna try hitting all those gates. Cause I didn't. You need to pass through all five gates to get the metal. Yeah, that first one, I really, I just really need to, to gun it, gun for it. <sighs> down, down, gotcha. Oh my god. Need to do, I need to do this. This is nice, nice little motion. Because Jack is now uh, holding the Wii mode in front of him as if he's about to eat a piece of pizza. Oh, hey, that, that worked pretty well, actually. Right, where's the second gate? Second gate, open! Where is the gate? Lee, the gate was inside you all along. Before. Was it because of the was it was I playing it on a controller last time? I don't know. No. No. We only did that for the first Mario Galaxy. Yeah, for the first stream of the first Mario Galaxy. So what what gives? Why is this so difficult to control all of a sudden? Damn it. It's always the mini-games. That's give it that give us the, the most trouble. Is this, yes, this is motion controls on our... Yeah, we're playing, we're playing it, uh, 
We're using an actual Wii remote. Semi-legitimately. Fucking that that was very uh, very optimistic. Me to try? Yeah, please. Uh. You're gonna. You twist to. You twist to turn. Oh. You twist to turn. You twist to. I am twisting. You're, what are you doing? You're just... I'm apparently diving really fast because it's very easy to dive very fast. I think it's the way you're holding it. Yeah, you, you gotta keep it level. If you wanna. I was go I was trying to dive very fast. You made it look like you had to go like super into it to dive. Last one's on the boat? No? We must be missing one. Just lying there. You gotta do a twist. You gotta do a little twist. You gotta, you do, gotta a do a barrel roll. You can follow the things, but it's still not easy. What are easy. you doing? I'm following the well, star bits. Should I not be? Is you were, it... you were, but you weren't like following the star because You were just kind of following back behind him. Just... That's why I was saying, "What are you doing?" Because you were, because that angle was all wrong. Yeah. It's a little hard to control these motion controls. Do you want to try? Yeah. Now that we know where the five are. Yeah, a little hard to control. But... Thank you. Maybe you should take a break. That's their punishment for a game over, is Lubba telling you to take a break. Settle down, Marv. Take another pill.
This isn't even for a star. This is to earn the right to attempt another star. To earn the right to maybe attempt another star, depending on how the... What battlefield is this? Who's fighting Koopa? Who's fighting Bowser? No the one. birds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I... Jack, you're nowhere near the star bits. What's wrong? Are you serious? Nope, not fast enough. This fast enough game? Yes! Uh, oh. Hit base, instant death. Yeah, I just. I fucking cannot stand motion controls like this. People complained about the wing cap in Mario 64, and even that would didn't have motion controls. Imagine how much worse it would be. Mario just cannot fly. Just. There needs to be a, a moratorium on Mario doing any kind of flight. Wait. Oh, I gotta continue. Shit. Oh. <laughs> also, instant death when you hit a fucking wall. Like, thanks. Thanks a lot, game. I would be cooler with it if it didn't take our lives and kick us out of the level. Yeah. You paid 1,500 star bits for this. Isn't it worth it? We got an extra life if we're on point. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. I am so not. Ah. Uh, but I was tilting as hard as I could. What are you talking about, game? This. Wrestle with the controls. Said this before, I'll say it again. Any game with motion controls that's good is good despite the motion controls, not because of the motion controls. Can't wait to do. I cannot wait to do Skyward Sword. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a good time. Please move faster, thank you. Fuck! You played it! It's not easy! No, I didn't say it was easy. You were the one who yelled at me when I was playing it. I didn't yell at you, I was just confused as to where, where, which direction you were... It seemed like you were trying to fly that way on purpose, that's why I'm like... I was wait. following the spiral. I don't know what you're talking about. That did count as going through that, right? Yeah, it did. <sighs> this feels so unintuitive. Yeah. Okay. Just fuck it. What? A bats? A it's fine. We don't have anywhere we need to be tonight. Yeah. We can stream something tomorrow. Maybe, maybe I should. Uh, maybe I should get that set up so we can do a so the, the academy game tomorrow. Academy game? No. This is so fucking dumb. I'll try it again if you want. I wish. I I I wish that this game did not that, that Nintendo did not try to just go, hey, you know what's you know what's good? Motion controls. Nintendo doesn't want to deliver just like a good experience. They just want to deliver to you their experience. And sometimes it's good despite the attempts that they make for Oh my god. If 
it's new, it must be good. Let's utilize the DS microphone. Can't touch any surface, regardless of speed. They've done this since the since the NES. Like, remember the Poles voice, right? Poles voice. Those uh, those rabbit enemies from fucking uh, original uh, Zelda. They originally there was like a microphone attachment for the Famicom that uh, that allowed you to kill them quicker by, by yelling at them or something. Yeah, by just, just screaming at them. That's how you kill them. Why do you have those poles there? You have to scream at them to make them go away, the poles. This whole thing? Give me another couple shots. This fucking, like, the controls are the, are the worst part of this. If it, if I was just playing with a stick, I probably would be able to get it quicker. Yeah. But the fact that it's just, it's just wanting you to, to just tilt and twist and fondle the fucking Wiimote to just... Oh, to, to, to get you to do what it wants to. It's frustrating because you don't fully have a good grasp on on how it works, so you're so you're auto-correcting, right? And there's no way to practice this shit like anywhere else. You're either go you're either going in or you're not doing it at all. Yeah. It, it it's dumb. If they were charging money for this, it would be a scam. Yeah. That would be Link's crossbow training. This is like the worst received Zelda game. It had a, it was really, it had a really funny plot though, because you just link with the crossbow, just shooting anything that moved. It was basically a Legend of Zelda style rail shooter. Lava, one hit point. Wall, death. God damn it! I like want to switch places. I feel like, I feel like that's, uh, that's not helping you. I don't think it matters. You're having to, uh, like, hold I... the controller in that really awkward position. Oh, not low enough. Something I don't know if, uh, if I don't. I, I'm gonna highlight it uh, when I when I finish the uh, Donkey Kong 3 highlights. But uh, you're t okay. But uh, I want to mention that I, I feel like like it's an underrated opinion that uh, music can make or break a game. I yeah. feel like. You mentioned that because, like, an immediately noticeable shortcoming of DKC3 was its uh, compared to the first two, at least, was this pretty shitty soundtrack. Yeah, you no, got most this. notably, the first level had some a very odd, unfitting audio. Da, 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 da. No, no okay. yeah, you got it. Now go through the sun. Into the sun, Icarus. We did it. It's a second slower, but fuck it. Even Fluzzard looks happy. He fucking better. Like that empty star. Let's all go home. Yeah. I don't like motion controls very much. I, I can, I, if I can try maybe, to avoid them. Maybe the motion controls in Skyward Sword are at least good. In, in the sense... I hope so. <laughs> because that's not what people usually complain about with the game. It's usually the just formulaicness of Skyward Sword. You know what? If it's formulaic, at least if the controls are bad, we'll know what to do. Yeah. Prankster Comet in the gravity chamber? On the gravity gauntlet. Okay. Zellrock still has it, by the way. Still no star, so that's just the pranks. Prankster will be able to go there. Yeah, probably. So probably like a perfect run kind of deal. There you go. Alright, which one is this? Uh probably uh probably a daredevil run. Gravity. Oh 
Oh, speed run. run. Speed run. <laughs> Oh, they have clock stopping. Yeah. Remember clock stoppers? That existed. Which one was that? It was a movie that, uh... Oh, they, yeah! They had, like, the... a watch that, uh, slowed down time, enabled super speed. Oh. I thought that was, uh... Oh, I'm thinking of clock blockers. I that don't know what that, that is. That was, uh... That was a movie that, uh, some, some, uh, video effects dudes made about, like, a game. Where, uh, where, like, you, uh, like, you have a 1v1 match, and then once that was over, then you'd add two more people, and the one people would do the exact same thing until something caused it to change. Yeah. It was very, it was very interesting, because, because it was like a we really weird futuristic time travel FPS idea, which I, I like weird ideas like that. Just three, just incorrect jumping timings. Yeah, I was trying to get used to the controls in the now upside down area. Yeah. It... I don't remember if Clock Stoppers was like a Nickelodeon or Disney movie or not. It, I think it was. It was made for families. It had like a teenage protagonist or something. Oh. Is it live action? Yeah. Oh, okay. Part of the plot was that, uh, like, the bad guy put the kid's dad in a, in a room with the technology just to see what would happen over long exposures. What, wait, his kids? He's, no, no. His guinea pigs? No, the the bad guy, the main character was a teenager, and they, they took put the teenager's dad in a room of slowed time. Oh, wow. Just to see how, like, his body would deal with it. Okay, now I gotta press up. Yes. Press the direction you want it to. I think that was Disney. That sounds like it, yeah. I feel like it was around the, like, Agent Cody Banks era. I've never seen that movie. I've never seen it either. I'm okay Wait, with that. So, that's a, got a kid, right? But he's a secret agent. But he still has to go to high school. Does he? I wouldn't be surprised. That sounds like it would be. Like, the big thing, the Disney starlets at the time were uh, Lizzie McGuire and Frankie Muniz. Oh yeah, it was that was his name, wasn't it? Yeah. I wonder what he's up to now. Uh, maybe living in, signif uh, in dignified retirement. That'd be nice. Uh, up. When you get to that. There you go. Can't see shit. Okay, here we are. Oh, this is water. Yeah, swim. You can change the controller to move faster. Oh, right. Uh-oh! Is that always instant death? Yeah. Oh. Always. Nickelodeon movies, okay. <laughs> Fucking... <laughs> yeah, you can try it, you wanna try it? <laughs> I'm just laughing because every time you're, like, right next to certain death, you're just, uh-oh! Just the most impotent, like... <laughs> well, I, I did the, exactly the wrong thing and long jumped into it, but I was yeah. fucked at that point. You have lives for me. I know you're very far away. Here, have these lives. Frankie Muniz played Chester McBadbat in... Chester McWho? Fairly Odd Parents, you mean? Oh. Is it Fairly Godparents, but is that a thing? Fairly Godparents? I, I thought it was always called Fairly Odd Parents, because yeah. it's a playoff of Fairy Godparents. That's how I saw it, at least. Yeah. No, I have no, I have no idea who that character is. I don't... Wait, Chester McBadbat. That was the, uh... That was the friend, the blonde one, who was, like, poor. He was the Kenny of the series. Oh. Well, why do they call him McBad Bad? McBad Bat. Bad Bat? I, I don't know. I, oh, because, uh, I think his father was, like, a really shitty baseball player. A really shitty pro baseball player. Oh. So, 
they had to force him to legally change his name to reflect his newfound status as a shitty baseball player. Obviously, that's how it works. It's like it's like the opposite of Puritan nicknames. Or it's like deconstructed Puritan nicknames. Timmy, there was Chester, and then there was the, the black friend, I think AJ. And Timmy's dad was a pencil pusher. Literally, he, all he did was push pencils. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, there you go. I don't remember I don't remember what AJ's parents did, if anyone had any flattering parent roles in that show. Yeah, there... What was a kind of... Uh, sad about that. That show was tough to watch because I was just seeing all these kids just be, like... Miserable? Yeah, and I'm just like, that... I want to, like, watch cartoons to be happy. I don't want to watch cartoons to see a bunch of miserable kids being miserable. It wasn't as bad as Invader Zim in that regard, that's for sure. Oh, is that... But it wasn't the main character of the fucking alien, though? Yeah. So but the... he still went to, like, a, a school where everything was, like, shitty and super... There you go. Almost, fa it was portrayed as like fascist. The school, fascist uh, alien space school. No, a human school. Oh, God, Nazi like it was the most cynical portrayal of school you could ever see in a cartoon. Oh, good. That means that means that it was that's there's a reason why it was popular. Eh. It was also very depressing for that reason, though. Yeah, I bet. What am I doing? Oh, this way. Right. What? Come on! Jump, Mario! Jump! I had way, way enough time. Yeah. I'll blame you for having trouble with the with the controls, though. I'm not, like, upset you for that reason. I'm just, I was just amused, just, like... And changing perspectives and all that are, like, you gotta... I just, I expected myself to, like, keep holding right, and I would go right relative to where Mario was. No, that's not how this game works. <laughs> you go, you go, you move the stick to move where you want to move. You don't move the stick, uh, perpendicular, like where Mario is, it, like, you know, you're not, you're not controlling it from Mario's perspective, you're controlling it from your perspective, if that makes any sense. That fucks with me in Mario Maker, too, with the upside-down levels. Yeah. When you press up to make him duck down a pipe. Yeah. Something you have to get used to, but I guess, uh... Did we get everything in Freeze Burn? Uh, no. Or Shiver Burn? We're missing, we're, we're we missing the primary star, because we went to the pipe... Or I went to the pipe. You want to try it again, or I don't care. Okay. Uh, you if you want to, you seem like you were really interested in playing. No. Okay. I was I was just making a joke earlier. Of Zoomer speak. Where are hey, you? bro. <laughs> what you were here before? I'm just you know hanging out, breathing in the sulfur. You want to? You want me what? to play? Kind of sucks standing around here. Uh, sure. Yeah. Luigi seems like a liability in, in more than anything, to be honest. Yeah, it's fine. Play as him. At least, like the fact that he's the pro character—that that's a, a valid trade-off, right? Is that he's harder, but he's able to do more. Yeah. If played optimally. He's got a higher skill ceiling. Yeah. Higher skill floor, higher skill ceiling. I think we never figured out if that switch, uh. What switch? Just the, the switch that freezes this place works uh, infinitely or not, huh? I would assume it, dude. We never ran out of time. And there was, usually if something is timed, there's like a ticker t ticking down. Take the 
the work with the launch star. Yeah. The coin on the left. Oh. Oh, stop. STOP! What? What? Luigi, we're good. Alright, let's actually see what's going on here. Oh, checkpoint. Cool. Good thing we have one of the... Excuse me, what just happened? Good place to die. It just killed Float me. on a rock. That poor thing is just, they go in and out of lava. Well, it seemed to be me to do it, so it's not like it's like, I guess. And it's, we, we play in Frogger now. Yeah. Cool, I win. Do I win? Do I win the game? You win melons. I win the new Coca-Cola game. Wait, melons? What the fuck? Yes. You win a rousing game of soccer. Slippery Weege. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get the. I There's the common dead. metal. Oh, you can save it. I, I could have. I didn't. I had a chance. Can't you play the full game as Ouija after the game? We've never completed this game before. I this think that was, that was the case in oh. Galaxy 1, right? Yeah, it was. And Luigi had access to a lot of uh, game-breaking stuff uh, as far as, like, uh, levels reversal went. In this... Well, in the first game, though, Luigi wasn't available at all until that point. Yeah. Whereas in this... What the fuck? Wow, Luigi... It's in, Luigi. It's, in, it's Luigi slipperiness. In this game, he appears in some levels that you can choose between the brothers. Yeah, and if you beat him, you get access to the ghost. Just the dev route. Pretty soon, you'll be hooked on the brothers. Oh man, did you... Did you see, uh... So, Trihex, uh, did a, did a video, right, where he was playing this guy's level, and he suspected that there was a dev route, and yeah. there was, and he took it. Right to speed run it and break the record, and then the guy took down the level just as he completed it. Yeah, because he was watching. Yeah, I guess so. He's like, uh oh. I like, I like seeing Trihex uh, plays. It's pretty fun. Got banned from a GDQ though, so. For for what? I for cheating? I no no not for cheating. Something to do with like. Uh, Oh shit. Was that part of the, the big controversy of people getting banned that a lot of people thought shouldn't have? Yeah. Do I want to? I guess I'm going. I guess, yeah. Seems like the place to go. So it's, uh, wait, glowing lava pools. Are they gonna open up again? Yeah, they open when the meteors. Okay. Fine. Of course, you freeze lava, it turns into ice. Yeah, that's how... That's how that works. That's how it worked in, uh... What was it? Uh, Donkey Kong 2? You just throw, spit ice cubes into lava, it turns into water. Yeah, and then you swim in it. Yeah. That's how that worked. Oh, shit. <laughs> this just... They're making you, they're making you ice skate. Welcome to the clusterfuck! <laughs> Don't hit the flaming ones! <laughs> okay! Oh, shit! <laughs> Hurry! A triple? Oh, no! I survived. Good. <laughs> I would have sucked up to- Hey, it's Ice Arrows! Yeah. <laughs> this game, man! Time for a Luigi long jump. Alright. Oh, hey! We got a Captain Toad uh, ship. Just hanging out. What do you Hello. got for- Oh, Green hold toad. on. Hold on. Toad. Toad. Slippery weed, hey, hey. slippery ice metal. Toad! What's up? 
We finally made it deep into enemy territory. Prince Picante is right over there. Oh, sweet. All right, there's a boss on this level. I don't know if shipping is gold or scared. Hi. Melons are homing. It's, very, it's a naturally occurring trait of the melon fruit. Yeah, this is better. I'm gonna need to just go ice skating. So now Every third three, one. I'm gonna guess. Is there. Excuse me! Oh. I- I could not clutch it. I just over. couldn't- I just could not, like, get the fucking, uh... Final shot in. Time, huh? Okay. Ow. That was a trap. I can't. I just can't go for it. What? Getting a melon? Yeah, from the from the launch part. Ah. Uh, move. Please move. Oh, next one. Destroys one tank. Yeah, good, good to know. Three's a magic number. You ever do like a pumpkin catapult? Oh, no, but that sounds fun. There's an event at like a local farm. I remember they took us to as a kid on field trips, like the corn maze and pumpkins and things. Yeah. My parents once took me to an ice skating rink. I, uh... How'd that go? Uh, not, not well. I, I couldn't get it. I, I didn't get it. Like, it wasn't like rollerblading. I was too used to rollerblading at the time. Yes, I rollerbladed. I think they're very similar. It's just ice, ice skating is cold. I, I tried it that way, but it just didn't want to work. Yeah? There are many kind-hearted people out there who are watching over you. Here's some bits. I hope we get to meet this mysterious person so we won't. Do we have to hear this every single time, Luigi? You better be grateful for what he's doing for you. The fact that you are not is concerning. Oh. Hello, what's up? You've been through a lot lately. You should take a break. Nothing. Don't play for too long. Uh, uh, Video uh, games are unhealthy. Where, I'm an I'm an elite alpha gamer. I can do it. Take it from me, Lubba, as to how to take care of your health. Bowser Jr.'s boom bunker. Okay. Alright, let's do it. Ooh. 
Doomsday Machine. Get it! I get it. <laughs> I gotta fight him using the power of Cloud. Strife? Corona. Sorry, Nimbus Ordeal. What happened? Oh no. I was gone for two minutes. This robot thing looks like it could reactivate at any second. I sense danger. Imagine one toad just has a really serious, like, Jojo looking face. Uh, like, like the Poochus. There's just one who looks super serious and shonen all the time. Okay, so there's the glass thing for the bullets. Oh, yeah. Alright, I guess I'm gonna remove this first. Here I was, I thought I was being a dick for killing him. Oh. Okay, that's a long jump. Unless... Oh. What? What? X marks the spot, though! Hey, cool, I, pretend. I guess that's nothing. Square pipe? Square pipe. Don't you love motion controls? Shouldn't they be in everything? This is fine. This 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 one I can accept a lot better than Oh it's the Boomer Bros. Yeah. Oh, you want some too, huh? So yeah. I was- I, guess, I think I was a bit too mean there. Honestly. In terms of- It's uh, a, it's alright, they'll lick their wounds and recover. Checkpoint planet. So designated by Bowser himself. I guess I'm shooting that thing. Unless I have to hit that. I think you have to shoot the target. I went a bit to the left. How's this gonna work? Last fight was an Eggman robot. This one is a castle? I... Hey, we gotta fight a castle. My dad's gonna get angry if I let you get another power star. Your dad's always angry. I'm gonna break out my Boomstay machine! I'm gonna play with Uncle Mario! Okay, kid. Don't get hurt. Be safe. I like how Bowser has become the de facto, like, Nintendo parent. Yeah. And from, from what I gather, he's actually, like, uh, like, not that bad at it. He 
takes parental controls very seriously. Now, can we stop this? Ah! He's so scared, like, what? Excuse me, what are you doing? He's sucking up the clouds. Can't have clouds left. Oh, well shit. Well then! They- Uh, 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 I thought of that too. I got tagged? You have to be a lazy ass villain to design design your machine with just passive weaponry. Like, oh, I'll just make these things spin forever and hope that maybe by chance they may hit him. This could be potentially doable. Now it is tank. It is. Sir! Oh. oh god! That was the slowest body check ever! We need Sweet Tooth in here to deal with this. He's used to fighting mobile towers. Oh, we gotta get higher. Good thing all these clouds just happened to spawn here. He chose a very poor place for this fight. <laughs> gotcha. <coughs> Say hi to your dad for me. Have fun! I'm just picturing, like... Tell him I'm a-coming for the rent! So that make uh, Peach and Mario like neighbors? It's like this is all just a elaborate fantasy of Bowser Jr. and Peach just and Mario are like the married neighbors and Bowser's the single dad. Is Bowser Danny? What? I just like to watch. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> maybe maybe it's like uh, Bowser and Peach were like old friends from like from, like, school. It sounds like Meizo Nakoku, but with Mario characters. Yes, that's... That would make... Got a grand star. That would make Wario Mario's, like, rich cousin. Yeah, and just uh, shows Walu up every now and again. And Waluigi as the guy who shows up, the distant cousin who shows up occasionally. Every the now and again when they need an episode piece. Waluigi is the, is the, the... Oh, fuck, what was the friend's name? Krillin. This is my brother. Godai and, uh... I don't remember his name. The guy the guy that never did anything good for anyone. Just uh, every time he appeared, he was just there to... There was an asshole. That was Yajirobe, I thought. No, in, uh... In Maze on Koku. Oh! You know, the friend. Who was oh, yeah, him! Villain. Yeah, him. I, I know who you're talking about. I don't remember his name, but, uh, yeah... Every time Sakamoto. You... Sakamoto. Fuck Sakamoto. Fuck Sakamoto. Fuck you. You're just... Oh, what did I do? Alright. This is the final world? The battle draws near. Do your best. Hold on. This is the final world? I think there are eight plus a bonus world. No, it's six. Yeah? So, I don't think this is the final world, I know based on what I've been world, told. Are there any other... There's a comet. comet. Oh, man. So, unless unless something else shows up, this will be our last thing, is this prankster comet. Alright. Cool with this. We'll uh, clean up any that appear until we got nothing else but World 6. It's enough. Yeah, shiver burn. Maybe this is one of the tracks they chose for uh, Smash Brothers. Maybe that's where I re recognize the name from. Possibly. Alright, what do we got? 
Rainbow Rock. Rainbow Rock? What? Is this Kill all the things. Oh, with rainbow on ice. This, this... Get them all! So why are you... Sakamoto would be like the, the gear boss. Hey, Goda, I know this was my job, but can you do it in 30 seconds or less? If not, I don't get paid. Thanks! <laughs> Sakamoto, you fuck. Well, you know that manager you like? She's hot. You mind if I hit on her awkwardly? Please, Goda, be a pro. At least, uh... Yotsuya was a fun troll. Yeah, he was fun. The whole episode revolving around him just shoving as many people as he could down a well together. <laughs> also, guess what? I just did that first try. Yeah. That was a forgiving one. That was, yeah. Turns out being invincible makes it a lot easier. Yeah, you just need to run into him. Also, ice physics in this game when you're skating are really good. Could be a lot worse. Like, Spyro somehow just losing the ability to jump on ice. <laughs> he can't get the momentum. He's just, he tries to, but his feet just slip. Because every time he bends his knees. There you go. Oh, Bowser Jr. pranks your comment. Is this going to be, uh... Is this going to be, uh... Daredevil? I hope we don't have to fight that whole boss again. I give you permission to save it for next time if you would like to. Oh, I was gonna say, like, just I was just gonna, we were just gonna be silent on just point to the thing and just switch it to uh, the on the next one. Oh yeah. But, nah. Might as well just get him done. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would have gotten that non verbally. Oh, we gotta wait from all the way back here. We gotta make our way to him too. <laughs> wow, this level, this level's pulling no punches. Don't worry, it's broken! Oh, totally broken. No. I don't remember this being too difficult, so no. we'll see. Just one more chance to, to fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh, there's the the, hand, the boomerang bros, too. Man, that's, that's, I, that's I, mean. I, I do need to deal with them. Kick their asses, I did. There might be a checkpoint. There is no checkpoint. I would imagine not in the Daredevil run, sadly. Yeah. Why can't they just start you at the boss? This is stupid. This is actually... You know what? I don't mind this. At least they got rid of this this plan. Wait, what? Is this there no boss? It's yeah, different. It'd be cool if there's not. There was a planet here that we had to, like, platform across. Yeah. This isn't... This ain't that platform. This is something else. I thought it had the boss's name... The name of the machine and the title of the star. I'd be happy if we didn't have to fight it. You mean you're giving me new level for this star? Great! Well, thank you. There's a great thing about Donkey Kong Country, is that your reward for completion was more game. You got more levels to play. Oh, well, they do give you a checkpoint. Okay. Oh, you thought this was going to be a regular uh, Daredevil run. Oh, 
Here we go. There's the boss. Wait, why did they give me something completely different? Well, we didn't know where to put it. That was, I would, I dare say that's actually easier. Didn't we just do this? The Uncle Mario! Let me play! This, this costume of Mario just he looks like he is a, a candy man. I got it! Yeah? Peach and Bowser are exes. Yeah? Ex, uh, and Bowser Jr. is actually, uh, the son of Peach, but... Bowser wants to put, wants to bring it back together and Peach is having none of it? Yeah, but then it's, it's more subtle than what, uh, than what Bowser Jr. lets on. But yeah, the general gist of it is... I just oh. died. <laughs> I forgot too, until you were already on top of it. At least yeah. we got a checkpoint. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna go for that. For that. Uh -huh. I feel sorry for Bowser in that situation, though. Like, well, you'd, you'd still have to make him kind of an asshole. Oh, uh, yeah. So, in order for Mario and Peach to not seem like the bad guys. Maybe, maybe it was just... <laughs> what, yeah. is Toad just like the janitor? Toad could be... Oh! <clears throat> he, he like I got Mario. it! Toad, Toad is actually Mario's son. Okay. But no one knows this. Uh, or... I don't know. He like he works for Peach, so Never, okay. I guess if she, maybe she's the manager and he's the janitor. Oh yeah. Okay, Miss Peach. Oh man, so besides Peach, like if you could hook up Bowser with any uh, uh, villainess or villain, if, if uh, who would you hook him up? Uh oh, oh. I almost had it. I probably could have made it. Oh well. I don't know that I'd want to hook him up with anybody. He's just forever solo, forever bachelor with him and his son. Oh man. Boss shouldn't be too hard, but I'm just having trouble. You either have to get there very fast for the second hit, or just wait. What the fuck? Oh, okay. I get it now. I like how he just tosses. Like, uh oh. Just hoping it makes it all the way. Well, there you go. I don't think we're gonna make it in time. Oh, well, maybe. Nope. Oh. Aboard! At least we can hang out on top. Hi. Didn't even have time to panic. The cloud one is actually the most broken in Mario's hands. Just having all that, like, aerial control. The ability to create platforms. Alright. Get him, get him going, going a ways. All right. All right, now here's the plan. Uh-oh. Some plan. Maybe Toad can be like the Eddie. Oh, like... He's always the one coming up with schemes to, like, I don't know, make, make the apartment building better or more successful as a business. <laughs> None of them work out. Oh, I almost died there. Oh, got him. That was pretty tough, if you couldn't get hit. 
because because you gotta make sure that the fucking yeah. How's Luigi fit into this? Is he just the bachelor? He's the brother that like. <laughs> he's the he's the pitiable one, right? Well, until you realize that he's actually rich as hell. What's your power? I have... Maybe Luigi is the Yotsuya. He's the one that really shouldn't be in the in the building, oh, but yeah. he just he stays there because it's cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get rich by spending money. I already talked to my mansion. Oh man, who would DK be? Mario's work buddy? Sure. I mean, they would have a form of rivalry. Yeah. I guess Pauline's the ex. Oh, uh, Mario also has an X. Oh, yeah, Mario and... Uh, do the zoom out. We got everything. The what? Zoom what? The zoom out. Okay. I thought you said zoom out. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, we go to the zoo galaxy. Hold on. Is that first one? That first level? Yeah. Do we not clear this all the way? We just... Oh, we don't have the, the token. Yeah, we need to get the token for this. What the fuck? I never got the medal in Sky. Hold on, let me see which star it is. Sky Station Galaxy. This might unlock another comet. Uh, cylindrical planet. I don't see any gold mentioned, so... Okay, I'm just gonna do the first one, then. Just be sure. You want me to get the... <laughs> you want... Yeah, you want to help some help? I offer you help, bro. First level, I know. <laughs> can, be, can be really hard. <laughs> I... I remember those little dudes. Oh, hey, is that got a top? It does. Shit. So we're going to the cyl cylindrical planet. Oh, where is it? It's a nice cylindrical planet? So just keep going through the level until we hit that. Alright. We uh... Always Yoshi's house we start at. Yeah, that's usually the true and that's usually true. The true. It's usually true. In the that's wrong. Those weak ass goombas. Portobello goomba. Imagine somebody doing the reskin of a, of a Mario game, but, like, uh, they make it more like uh, the movie. It'd be weird. Yeah. I, thought you're, I thought you were about to say make it super realistic, but I guess that's about the same thing. Yeah, that's thing. the movie. With, like, uh, realistically proportioned humans. It looked like Nathan Drake in PlayStation All-Stars. Or, I guess, Snake in Smash Brothers. Yeah. Doing these weird, exaggerated movements. <laughs> <laughs> Jojo. <laughs> Jojo. Okay, so we're looking for the metal. Keep going. I don't think there's the cylindrical one yet. Well, in that case, here's what I'm gonna do. Gotta be, gotta be fancy. Yeah. It doesn't like you being fancy. Fuck you, Luigi. Get, please get the thing. Before you die. Are you the metal? Oh, 
lot of uh, bits here. That's a bonus thing. I can beat this guy this time. They, did they fucking spawn camp us? They spawn camped me. So I guess I'm not going for that one. That's fine. I don't need that many platforms. I have so many platforms. So this, this isn't the cylindrical. They're talking about that one over there. Yeah. Okay. No, no, what? Excuse me, sir. To show off the gravity mechanic that we're totally not familiar with. Alright, All right. so one of these stone platforms riding it all the way around will lead to the thing. Okay. I think the second one. That's a miss. But I see it. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a very productive session, though, aside from the... Oh, now I gotta complete the level. Probably want to lock more comments to the next level, because it seems like a lot of them were already done. Yeah. before murdering all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's fight this piranha dude. Luigi, you've mo you monster, you've caused premature birth. You gotta fight this pre-birth creature. Why is it squeak? Oh. That's just what that... In its ass. What? This is the most Mario 64 boss. Just like get behind it and grab. Yeah. yeah. It's not having a straight punch and kick option, though. But that yeah. comes back in Odyssey. I think we just have the hat. Oh. We just killed a baby for a, to for a coin. For the second time. Oh, God. Are these... Okay, to be fair, Mario did it the first time. Then Luigi's like, is this what my brother does? <laughs> Will I become as bad as him? I'ma go back to killing ghosts. They're already dead. That sits so better it with me. They, they're already dead, so it doesn't count as murder. I sleep well on a technicality. <laughs> hey, cool. We did it. We did it faster. Hey, bro. Hey. Catch you later. How's it auto save? There it is. Game has okay. been saved. All we, right. We doesn't seem like the uh, another level was uh, unlocked, so. Well, it didn't it show it. Maybe maybe if we go to the map, but we'll we'll worry about that next time. Yeah, that's uh, that sounds like tomorrow's problem. We got World Five done, so it 
despite its best efforts. To I guess we're five ninths of the way, Assume, unless like the challenge road ends up being its own final stream. Stream that would, number ten. That sounds like that sounds like it. We'd have to find a day where I'm off to do that one. You know, just five <laughs> hours or something. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time with more Pokemon Sword.